has been the easy part of the game? No, it's Correct. just meat grinds all the way through. Just meat grinds all the way through. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like uh, like Odyssey is meat grinder at the beginning, and then if you run it raw, it, it gets really trivial really fast. But the, this is this is meat grinding from start to finish. So, uh, all uh, right, we're live. All right. Oh, I got like a million ideas. So, grind away, Ash. <laughs> Um, all right. Uh, it seems like uh, Crash is the only one throwing their hat in to do the recap. Um, just before he starts, does anyone else want to, or are we leaving it to Crash to get the hero point? He does a good job. All right, I'll like, try my yeah. best. I'll try my he best. He does indeed. All right. So last time, last week in session seven of Abomination Faults, we resumed play in the room where we fought the boss of the Morlocks and it was in the aftermath of said battle and we looked around for treasure and we sat on the couch and we debated what to do next and we looked for more treasure and then we went down this passageway here and then we found this room with these boats and we found these stairs but we didn't explore it then we found this room but inside the room there was water and inside the water there was the river drake which is a type of dragon for low level babies to fight yeah that guy right there but he was sleeping because the dm is very kind and sweet or because the adventure told him that if the players come here there's a 30 percent chance or something like that that the boss was asleep and he actually rolled it and honored the results anyways we saw that there were some stairs over here there were mossy stairs and that made me think that maybe those were the stairs that led to the moat house that we saw upstairs and then there was a slight disagreement about exactly where all the things lined up but you know whatever then we went back to this room some people got stuck we waited about 20 minutes for them to slowly ease their way out of the passage because crawling and squeezing is very slow in pathfinder then we went all the way back to our secret special room and then we started to explore these areas right here, and we went down this hallway. We didn't explore these doors over here, but we went all the way down to the end of the hallway, and then we went to this room, and there was a workout room. It's like a gymnasium where you could there were all sorts of workout machines that you could climb on and do stuff. Then we went to this room right here, and that led to a big sand pit. There was a big worm in there, but the worm was dead, but I went inside the worm just in case, looking for a ring of wishes like I heard about in the story, but it ended up just being a magic warhammer. But man, did that come in handy, because then we went down here, and there were bunch of graves so of course we started poking around at them because you know according to our cleric who cares about dead people dead people don't need no shit so then a dead person popped out and said i do need my shit and they started beating our shit inwards uh and, but luckily we had a magic hammer and other than Boudin getting knocked unconscious which is kind of like our strategy like that's our pro move going into any fight to have Boudin go down as a distraction we killed the monster no problem then we found a secret door it led to the room with the shrine the shrine was the one that got desecrated by Boudin where we all pretended it didn't happen but then we kind of had to acknowledge that it did happen but fortunately nothing bad has happened so far because of that but we got beat up so bad by the shadow that we had to go into this room again and take another rest there were mixed results of the healing and such, but, you know, overall, it wasn't too bad. So then we went back to this room, and we went in here, we saw that there was, like, oh, there's some traps here, obviously. And then we went to the traps, but then we got blown up by the traps, and then we were like, well, that sucks. So then we went back to this room again to rest, because that's just how we do. Anyways, then we went back over here, and then we were like, hey, what if we went this way? And then we found a room, and the room had a bunch of skeleton bones in it, and then they assembled into a giant minotaur skeleton. It was a pretty cool fight. He had AoE slash attack, but then we ended up killing him pretty easily then we went to this room and there were the mossy stairs but they didn't actually lead up to the boathouse and there was a secret door and that leads to the lower level of the dungeon but then it also leads to the room that has the drake in it and then we were like mm, no so we didn't fight the drake and we went back over here and then we were like you know what it's trap time and that's where we got to meet a celebrity guest player last week orlando broom and Orlando Broom showed up, and he died instantly. Then we ran by. Yep, there he is. And then we went into here, and there were two more traps, but we actually tried to solve this one ourselves, which, using our pro strategy, we sent Boudin up, and he got knocked unconscious again. And so then we went to these next two, and we said, Orlando, one more time. And he came back, and he got killed by both the traps. <gasps> then we ran to this room, and we went inside, and then it was a hospital. 
because it has a big cross on the floor. And then the nurse that worked at the hospital was a spider person. And they were very friendly, and they wanted to show us all their trinkets and toys. And so we were looking at all those, and then their pet spiders came out. But then I got some vibes that maybe they weren't as nice as they were pretending to be, so we secretly plotted to murder them. So we set up an ambush, and we murdered them, and we took all their stuff, and then we ran all the way back to the room to look at our ill-gotten gains and heal ourselves, and that's what happened last time. On Abomination Falls. And with that, a hero point well earned. Mm -hmm. And thinking about it, a lot did happen last session when you <laughs> laid all out like that. Yeah. We um, we also leveled, but I think I need help with that. Uh, sure. Um, so for Gregor, uh, you would have to. Uh, Sweet. First First thing would be a skill increase, so you can increase one of your trained skills to expert, one of your untrained ah. skills to trained. How do I do that? Oh, just manually like that. Oh my god, that's so easy. Okay, I think I actually, that was all I didn't know how to do. Okay, so my athletics uh, is there. I added my spiritual, my divine ally, and my and you general got a feat. General feat, yep. yep so the last good. part is... So that Warhammer, I picked Shifting for my ally. Um, okay. My Blade ally. So, like, my Warhammer plus one is technically a Longsword plus one. Oh, that's pretty neat. Yeah, so yeah. I think we can go to the item and add the Shifting rune to it. Uh, let me see if this will yeah. work. Because I, I was reading up on the Redeemer and some of the stuff I have, and technically I'm supposed to like be using a longsword at all costs because it's my deity's weapon, so I wouldn't be like using a warhammer when I have a longsword. But well, I'm what like, if the need was dire? Then I'm assuming since I didn't lose my powers that that, that the need well, that's was because dire. I enough, wrote, but... That's because I wrote you a note. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And but yeah, but now that I have the ability to add shifting uh, every morning to the weapon, or well, technically to me when I wake up, uh, I can make it a longsword and be be allowed to use it. And then uh, yeah, and if I ever find a longsword, then I can like make it ghost touch or something instead. Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, so I believe you currently do have a longsword, but it doesn't have your plus one rune on it. Um, so if you ever wanted to just uh, take your plus one rune from your Warhammer and put it on your longsword, you could do that. It would require someone in the party with expert crafting and the magical crafting feat, or you can just find someone in town to do it. Um, but that is an option if you want to do that. Perfect. Um, hold on, hold on. Yeah, so that's right. I... You can take enchantments out of one item and put them in another. So, okay, okay. Like that... a video game. Oh my gosh. Okay, mm -hmm. well that's good to know, and that will be something to do when we go back to town, and I need to spend three weeks retraining. I gotta retrain a feet when we go back to town, guys. No worries. <laughs> um, did, it, did anyone else need help, lovely girl? I just have a question. So, I tried looking this up for my other group. Uh, we don't need a long rest as a part of the level up, right? Uh, I don't believe so. No, just very yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I believe that's next, up to the GM. Question. Yeah, I think oh, it's okay. one of those things. Uh, like you level up, um, uh, but there's some stuff like you wouldn't get. Um, so some DMs say like if you're a prepared caster and you level up, you don't like automatically get those spell slots. You would have to sleep okay. before mm -hmm. you can prepare mm -hmm. those spells. Well, how how do you roll the dice? Um, I'm pretty lenient um, with it. Um, I would say if you're in a safe environment, um, which which you presumably currently are, uh, you could take some time to just prepare those spells. Okay. Next thing, guys, we sh we did a lot. We should take a uh, take some time. Oh, so take time to do what? I gotta refill my. Well, are we gonna fight? If we're gonna go fight that River Drake. Mm-hmm. I'd like to be at full strength. Okay, well, what time of day is it? Are we gonna... How long do we have to hang out? Um, so, for the for the time of day, you guys have taken a full rest during the day. Uh, it wasn't nighttime when you did so. Um, mm -hmm. So, I would say it's around uh, early evening now. Oh, my gosh. So, we have to just wait around for, like, a whole day doing nothing? 
Or we can go to town, spend I mean, three weeks recreating, and then come back. Mm. Um, that sounds awful. Um, I mean, we could go check out those other doors. Yeah, let's go check out those other doors. Ooh, but I'm not gonna lie, as a part of leveling up, I kind of switched all my spells out. Uh-huh. And I don't know which ones I had. Oh. Okay. So, uh, so I'm looking at your character sheet now. I don't think you switched out any spell that you hadn't... Like, you had two I first levels. I, I definitely didn't have this, and I didn't have command. Um, I could try and change it back. I don't remember what it no, was. No, it, it's, it's all good. If, if it was a spell slot that wasn't, like, spent during the day... It wasn't spent. Uh, nothing was yeah. spent. Yeah, I'd, I'd allow you to change it. As you okay. Level up. All right. So you're fine. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Let's go check out those other rooms. Yeah. Now I think there was a door here. There's like a brick, three bricks down. That's got like a mark or something. Uh, gonna push it. It's three bricks up. Three. So three bricks. Three bricks down from the mark. Do you see Versa? Versa, look around. Mm. Oh, well, sorry, Stone. Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, I was going to ask Ash. Um, it's something we had talked to, or us as a group had talked about um, after last session. I meant to message you. Um, there were some stats that when I built my character, I did not really build oh, yeah. optimally. Like, I put a ton into Constitution. Yeah. Like, I had plus four in my Constitution. And really, I, I should be built like a glass cannon. Yeah, Stone Stone didn't know that dexterity didn't add to damage <laughs> um, yeah, okay. when they built their yeah. character. Um, yeah, because we're coming for five E and we're yeah. Yeah, no, that that that's a fair assumption to make. Um, I I would say that's something uh, in character Bodin could work on as well during like retraining. So like if you wanted to uh, change your stats around, if Lars wants to retrain like one of his class feats during that like downtime activity, you could change your stats if you wanted to. Well, why um, don't we finish this floor? And then, before we get wrapped up into some huge narrative, we just say, "Oof, let's let's take a break." And then we take three weeks to for you guys to retrain, and I can do some crafting, and I don't. I yeah. can research some uncommon or rare spells. There you go. Be cool. It sounds good. Okay. But we still have. So we're gonna go for these rooms, right? Yeah, we got okay, those two rooms and a dragon. East. We gotta kill. And then we're resting, and then we're killing the dragon. Assuming it didn't die already. Oh, because I forgot in the recap to mention that Boudin snuck over there by himself, risking his entire life to try and poison the creature with some brown mold. Well, that's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just... put it in its gullet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we got two doors. Top one's the left door. So, so the one to the top um, has these like wooden stakes like barricading it. Uh, stopping uh, seemingly someone from like exiting from the other side. That's weird. It's locked too. All right. Well, uh, you you can spend some time removing the barricade if you want to open the. Ooh, door. there's a spooky well, guys. So yeah, as as you open up this room and look in, the air here is cool and moist. A low stone well sits to the east. Armor, weapons, and tools line a heap to the north. Oh, that's like treasure, basically. Take a look. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so a as you're kind of looking through um, uh, this, like, lump of just, like, various items, you find uh, two rapiers, uh, three sets of studded leather armor, three sets of thieves' tools, and one healing potion lesser. And I'll throw all that in the party loot. Oh, heck yeah. That's like a lot of money worth of treasure, guys. Yeah, that's that's great. Do you want to? Should we do the classic cast light on a coin and drop it down the well? Uh, I feel like what that might think? disturb things that are below. Don't we want like um, three weeks to rest? Like, I feel like we don't really want to be riling up anything down down below, well, right? Well, if we riled something up now uh -huh. and then didn't come back for three weeks, it would have three weeks to prepare. Still be? Do you think they'd still be riled? Well, what if the riling drags us into things that we're not ready for? The key to a long-term adventuring career is pacing oneself. You have to be careful because every person is a potential quest waiting to happen. Every well 
could hold another dungeon. And as soon as you interact with it, you set the gears of adventure into motion. Are you prepared for what you are about to unlock? Yeah. Em, I just want to say mm-hmm. that, and this is out of character, <laughs> I loved you so much, even though you're a gnome, and if you were any <laughs> other gnome, I would say we should cast light on you and toss you down the well, but I, I would I see, never I do that to Cam. I think, ma- I think many I... gnomes would be okay with that. <laughs> um, uh, from Dragonlance. <laughs> so, as, as this conversation is happening, uh, Valen, you can kind of hear uh, this strange sound drifting um, up from below. Um, it's like this, distra- it's like splashing water that's almost w- mixed with like the sound of like a small crowd talking, but you can't hear any of the distinct words. You just hear like mutterings and mumbling from down below. Mm. Um, mm. yeah, maybe we, uh, you're right. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, we will take all of this loot, and we Let's... will remember what we have seen here today, and we will leave. Um, Gregor, if you're going to open that door, try not to make a lot of noise. I'll do my best, but... Uh... Cam, shut that door behind you. Oh, it might be cool. noisy. No, Pork was still in there! Up. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. Um, Okay. Moving this stuff, would this like require an athletics check, or is it just more a matter of time? It's just a matter of time. Um, if if you were in a rush, you could do an athletics to like quickly throw it all out of the way. Um, no, no, but we'll just go... slow, slowly moving it is just a matter of time. Wait, didn't yeah. one of us have a crowbar? Blowing quietly. That's uh, just debris Ooh, in front I of the door. Might actually... Oh, okay, okay. I don't have a crowbar. Um, but yeah, give, given some time, you slowly move like these bits of wood. There's like a, st- a chair like stuck up against it to try to keep it like wedge shut. Um, but eventually, you're able to get all this debris away and then open the door. Um, uh, you see, uh, alkalis along the walls might have once been storerooms, but the stone shelves are all empty, and you can there's this foul smell from within. Um, you realize rather quickly uh, that the foul smell is three individuals who have been chained. Um, up, and they seemingly are unconscious. See, this is what I'm talking about. Adventure. There it is. As soon, um, as, as, soon as we said we wanted to take three weeks vacation, this is what happens. Is uh, Cam? Does your magic sense? Oh. What like, are the traps? Are these things magical? I'm I'm always uh, detecting magic, so yeah. we would be. You told don't seem to detect anything. This is a prison, guys. Do I recognize these guys from the uh, individuals we know are missing? Uh, give me a moment. Uh, yeah. So, so as you, you've actually seen these three individuals before, are uh, you 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 have a vague memory of them working um, at the establishment where the individuals went missing? So, you think these are the missing people? Uh, you can see from there, they're like, they're chained by the leg to like the floor. Uh, you can see it, um, it, they're like kind of slumped over. They're not like sleeping, but they're pretty unresponsive. It appears they're very uh, malnutritioned, malnourished rather. So we should rescue these men, yes? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I will uh, approach. I'll take out my water skin. Wait, and, uh, three people, and there were bags that had three suits of armor. Aw, oh, man, we're gonna have to give them yeah, their stuff back. Mwah. <laughs> I not, will. Uh... Huh? Not a very balanced party. They're all rogues. <laughs> uh, the individual in front, who you're like reaching to with your water, will kind of slowly uh, look up towards you, and you'll see like a. Uh, hint of recognition in their eye as they look towards you. Uh, something that's not a burlock. Bless us. Uh, can I get some aren't of that water? Aren't you all sad, sad? Yeah, I'll uh, I'll give him some water. I will give him some rations. And I'll tell him that we'll uh, be about getting those chains off, but I'll try and awaken his compatriots and get yeah, them some uh, kindly. water as well. 
Want me to do some thievery rolls to unlock them? Uh, they, sure, roll me, roll me some checks. Velen, don't those three gentlemen look like three upstanding citizens that we could certainly trust? Look, that one's even got an eye patch. Um, I mean... Uh, yeah, with a very satisfying click, um, you uh, free uh, this figure uh, from the chains. Uh, you see a rather short, uh, dwarf, long, black beard. Uh, almost like glowing yellow eyes. No look towards you. No, thank you very much. <laughs> the, do they still have their cowboy hats on, or are they just naked? Um, uh, they're not wearing the they're not wearing the leather armor that is shown uh, uh -huh. in the artwork. Um, but underneath that, they're wearing like very plain uh, clothes. Uh, their uh, their hats are kept on. Oh, nice. Okay. And with that, are they, another one. Are they wearing a Are they click. wearing Skyrim underpants or like decent underpants? This is uh, for this it, is for my it's, immersion. It's, yeah, so it's not undergarments. It looks like oh. they're just wearing like play, like they're like wearing like long like trousers and like a green shirt. Oh. RPG underwear. Now it just sounds like they're wearing clothes, honestly. I just meant how video games are always there. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times they're still clothed even when they're in the unders. Oh, I got you. I got you. Oh, shoot. Didn't need that. Lost. It's all good. Th Thieves don't um, need to be hidden anyway. Um, so it's fine. Okay. Um, but yeah, and with that, the final figure is free. Ah, thank you kindly. We should get you out of here and back to the town. Yeah, I'd like that. Let's get going right now. Yeah, um, actually, we f found your equipment, um, but bad news. The only way out of the dungeon is guarded by a river drake. All of us will have to work together to fight our way to safety. Um, you can see there's, like, an instant, like, uh, look of terror on all their faces as you uh, mentioned the river drake. And then yeah, the dwarves yeah. will speak up that they get Greg... I know, and you will have to be brave to avenge Greg. I mean, we aren't going to do that thing. Well, 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 well um, how are we going to get out of the dungeon? There's no, there's no other way. We have to go past it with all of us. Wait till the, what? When it goes out to hunt, we could get out. Mm, uh, but it's asleep right now, so we could just sneak past it. Mm, I don't know. Come uh, on. Roll, roll oh, okay. I mean, I don't. I might be lying, but sure, I'll roll diplomacy. Um, let's see. I have expertise in diplomacy now. If I can find my skills tab, you're in trouble, buddy. Um, wait. I'm supposed to have expertise. Open hand. I'm supposed to have expertise. Sorry, in um, diplomacy, not deception. My bad. Uh. All right. Diplomacy. Here we go. Oh, wait, does it have to be secret? There you go. Uh, no, not for diplomacy. Oh, okay. Cool. I generally do deception, but diplomacy... Alright, I got a like... 30. <laughs> if you think it's asleep and we can sneak out, we're pretty sneaky. Yeah, you are. Believe in yourself, you know what I mean? Did, Did these guys look like injured at all? Uh, you like can see they have various, like, bruises and small, like, cut marks on them. It appears they've had a pretty rough time trapped on, down here. Mm. You know who does oh, need a little bit of, uh... Yeah, hey, I mean, I mean, can I get a little I'm healing, too? I'm gonna take some time to treat some wounds real quick before okay. we do this. I, I can do this once every... Gregor. I can do this repeatedly now. Can I have six hit points? No, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Gregor, quick! I'll, uh, before she sees yeah, that, no. before she sees that I need attention, please just give me the six hit points. I, I, I never get, I, fail I, again. I, 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 I'm gonna, I, I just want to let you know, I, it's literally impossible for me. To I'm in it. danger. Please I'll, give me the six hit points before she finds out. I'll pat you on the head and. Give when I'm using there. assurance <laughs> medicine, can I just roll the two d eight dash? Yeah, you can. <laughs> and. uh... Uh, so, uh, uh, is this are these on the the trapped individuals or no longer trapped? I'm gonna I'm gonna heal all of them. I'm yeah, okay. That was the um, first one was for Cam. Oh wow, this is what medicine and feels then... like. Incredible. Oh my god. <laughs> so it's actually twelve now. 
and then I'll heal up the rest. Yeah. Um, so you, you take some time. It's about like thirty minutes, like tending to their various wounds. Um, with your I'll knowledge focus. of like uh, medicine, as you're like tending them, it's clear um, that they've been tortured in their time here. Damn. All right. Well, here you guys go. Um, yeah, I, I'll, give you your, I'll give you back your. I'll give you back your stuff. W was it the Murlocs that tortured you? Yeah, they caught us sneaking around, and then we've been locked up here since. What? Bloody bug-eyed things. What were, they, what were they trying to get out of you? Normally you torture with a purpose. I mean, they seem to be having a pretty good time. Always giggling and laughing. Oh, and he'll like spit oh. on the ground as he says, says that. So, oh, so it was Recreational, pleasure. got it. Okay. Yeah, were okay. any of you into it, or...? I don't think so. Um... I just what are you guys gonna do when you get out of here? I guess go back home, try to find another job that doesn't get me nearly killed. Mm. Who gave you this job? Uh, he'll pause for a moment. So I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Was it a was it a tall, hot, tiefling woman? He'll kind of look at you for a moment, and then he'll like look. You up and down for a moment. Mm. Uh, no. Okay. Where, um, we clearly have given you no reason to mistrust you. We're just trying to figure out what's going on here. Well, they're professionals. Any information you have will help us out. Professionals don't just spill the beads just because you saved their life. I mean, yeah, this, tell this one gets it. Spill the beans. They might not. But Plus, they might work for someone that's so dark and shady that if they were to, you know, betray their trust a secret, then being alive is just a liability at that point. I mean, the fact that they were taken prisoner, if their employer ever even finds out that they were taken prisoner, they might question if they were, you know, compromised during that. These guys, they're probably never going to feel safe again for the rest of their lives. No matter where they go in all of Gal Galaron, they're going to be, like, wondering, is this the night that I die in my sleep? Is this the night that my mysterious employer finally comes for me because they can't trust me anymore because I got taken prisoner? Maybe I should have prepared silence. <laughs> I mean... That's the life of a criminal, right? Yeah, we do crimes together, fellow criminals. Yeah, crime gang. Yeah. Crime gang. Crime gang. Crime gang. Crime gang. I'll be investigating um, up here while they're doing that. But not Jeff. Jeff's lawful good. Who's Jeff? How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> They're only following you around, full of love and dedication. Oh, nice. <laughs> My hand's gonna be slowly extending towards this glowing green door. Oh, at the north end it's of the hallway? so pretty. Yeah, do what you gotta do. Oh, was that something else we left un just unchecked? We're working on it. Whoa, oh. what? What happened? What happened? What happened? <laughs> Is that a toilet? So you open up this door. Uh, this 10 foot square washroom features an iron bath bathing tub to the north and a uh, like a sink to the southwest. Uh, the northern wall glows and shimmers with rippling ribbons of eerie green light. And you can kind of see this mist kind of emanating, uh, green mist emanating from the bathtub and almost like ridden uh, into the mist as you slowly start to see letters. And it says. I was Otari. Save me from below. And with that, the green light will vanish uh, from the room. Um, oh. But then... Oh, oh, no! You will see spectral footsteps begin to appear. Ghost what in the bathtub. Okay, okay, they're moving. Do we follow them? I mean, we have this other door, guys. I, I mean, all right, fine. We'll follow the ghost. We have an active event. All right. Don't lose it. My, I found you. He's lagging on me. Yeah, same. Yeah, mine is as well. I think the lighting is best to get off. <laughs> It's too spooky. So cool. All right, 
real talk, did anybody just tell Foundry they had a shitty potato? Or did everybody try to be a big dick baller and say that you had a good computer? I told her I had a good computer. Uh -huh. I, I said I had a regular potato. Mm. Normally, I would say shitty potato, but I thought... Oh, it wants to go down. Since I'm the streamer. Uh, yeah, so, so as, as you get to this spot, uh, you can see the kind of faint yellow, uh, green glow like slip underneath the door. Um, you you know this previously that this was a secret door. Um, oh. But this so, also reveals... Can we it. keep following it? Uh, no. no, remember what I said? As soon as we decided we are going to spend three weeks resting, we are going to run into nothing but adventure hooks constantly. Adventure everywhere. We got to take these three oh. back to town. And the only way through is where are you guys going? Where, where the hell are you going? Where, the, yeah, the, the, it's this way. No, it's not. No. Door. No. Oh, the other door. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, don't, hey, hey, hey. I need a hero huddle. Can you guys hear a huddle real quick? This this guy looks like he knows where he's going. Oh, follow my me. God. B Boudin, we need these guys to help beat the dragon. We can't show them where the chair room is or any other exit. We gotta lead them past the dragon. I, I'm, I'm with you. But okay, but don't let Grandpa room. screw it up. We could open the door after. You're on Grandpa duty all the time. Like it's right, like, it's like a it's like a bro broom closet. Yeah, so you. Uh, it, that's quite literally what it is. Shelves line the walls of this room, each filled with tools used for cleaning or repair work. A silver-headed cane lies amid a tangle of mops, brooms, and buckets. I will pick up the cane. So as you're inspecting the cane, you kind of like, you're like holding the hand for a moment, and it like clicks out, and you realize it's actually a cane sword. Oh. I'm going to turn to Bodin and be like, I think... This might be right up your alley, sir. I mean, you're the one that has trouble walking. Oh, just Boudin, <laughs> oh. Boudin. That's a that's a figure of speech. Do not put that up your alley. It it's a sword. Oh no. <laughs> okay. No, we're, we're not. Okay. <laughs> it's not my cup of tea. Uh, all right. Well, uh, there's two doors in this room, so. Oh, uh, all right. Gregor, can we get these guys out of here? If you know what I mean. Fine. Right, oh, open the doors. <laughs> uh, you, you open up this door. Uh, the walls of this room have been painted crudely and almost childly to depict a horrific hellscape of burning mountains, rusting cities, or, and tormented souls. Um, as you open it up, you also see this small, uh, almost fly-like creature, but it's got the torso of like a uh, human, and it's got this long, long tongue that's poking out of its mouth. Don't like that. Every impulse <laughs> I have is to try and kill I it, but I, fine. yeah, I'm like, this damn. Is the worst thing I ever saw. And it, it will like scream at you as I'll get everyone to roll initiative. Oh shit! Okay, remember, no one gets a plus one anymore to initiative because Verso's on mapping duty now. Right. Oh. Right. 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 <laughs> Uh, Why is the combat tracker not working? It's like a baby and a fly. I had a, a baby. <laughs> uh, give me a minute. I'm just going to refresh my foundry, but I will get some combat to go to do that. Sure. Uh, our action economy is out of this world right now. We can never let these <laughs> we can never let these men go. Yeah, so you guys want to just get get it passed out? I'm like, no, oh, we got a couple a couple <laughs> more rooms. We can I, I mean, use I use them for. I don't want to lose them before the dragon. You know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, I want to get them back home safe. Obviously, of course, yes. of course. But and Richard, we don't want their efforts. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So I have to ask: Was a thirty a critical success to d diplomatize those guys, or w would that would that adjust them to friendly? 
Um, depending on what their attitude was before. Ah, okay. Um, it could have been a crit, but you're not sure. Oh, all right. right. It seems initiative has worked. Uh, the creature will be going first, however. Boo. As Gregor, nope. you see this thing nope. look at you. Oh, you start to even yell. I have pilgrim thing. Oh, I you break have the Never mind. You see this creature yelling, like screaming at you, and you're just ready for the fight instantly. Yeah, as soon as I see it, like, like look, when I interpret as hostile, I'm like, nah, nah, we're throwing down. Mm. Uh, so I'm gonna strat on through. Um, this is gonna be a little anticlimactic because I have to stride. Um, oh my god, my foundry is like catching up with <laughs> all of the dice. Oh, yeah, apparently I bring an entire group of people with me. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I stride forward, I draw my plus one shifting longsword, and I uh, I attack this thing. And... Right, remember to target and give me the attack roll. Yeah, target. And strike. Uh, 25 will hit as you stab this creature. Uh, you can tell that the physical, like the blade, almost gets repelled by this like unnatural force. Um, but roll me damage. I will as soon as it pops up on my screen. I still haven't seen a roll or anything. I'm lagging pretty bad. Uh, if you can, I if anyone's able to, yeah, 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 you can roll the damage. I'm gonna hit a refresh quick. Yeah, Four, I went to eight game damage. Shut myself to low real quick. I, uh, I think I always turn off the dice so nice on mine. I think that's honestly causing a lot of issues. I don't know why it worked. But that's what happened last week, too, is you had to turn off the dice so nice. Yeah, but like it, I had no issues yesterday. Yeah, I wonder so. if it's my dice, how my dice is nice to set up. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into it. Yeah, um, every, every Foundry it server is somebody's modded Skyrim game, essentially. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you have no idea what the ecosystem is like in each Foundry game. Crazy. Okay, right. so yeah. You will um, see this that... Oh, yeah. Sorry, you still have one action left. No, no, because uh, uh, stride, draw, strike. Mm. Oh, draw, yeah, okay. All right, yeah. so now it is the creature's turn. You will see its like uh, tongue like lash out towards you and it'll go to bite at you with its mandibles. Oh, damn. Uh, that will hit four. Uh, 12 points of damage, and I need you to roll a fortitude save that I can roll for you if you want. Ouch. Uh, that actually popped up for me, uh, so I could roll that. I just gotta uh, so take that damage. Wait, I could raise my shield on that as a reaction, right? Uh, correct, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna heal that, and I'm gonna raise my shield, which I don't think I have a hotkey for. Uh... Uh, yeah, because your exploration activity was defend, um, your shield would have been raised on the first round of initiative. Right, so it's shield blocking that I'm doing. Yes. Where is... So there it is. Okay, so if I do that, does that actually... So you should... When you look oh. at the damage, one of the options is block. So if you click that, it should do it. Oh, beautiful. Okay, yeah, so I'll do block. It should... Oh, block is a toggle. Ah! Okay. Now it's giving me an error that I didn't raise my shield. Ah, uh, that's okay. Yeah. So let um, me... I will put the raise shield on you, and then yeah, I will heal, toggle black. Now take damage. There we go. There we go. Oh, I think my shield is broken now. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, and then um, fortitude save, right? Yes. That's a success. You can feel this like demonic, uh, like poison, try to get pushed into your system. Uh, but this is something you fought many times before, so you're able to push it out. Um, ah. However, uh, after that, you will see the creature like wave its hand in front of it and will mutter something in demonic, and then it will like let out a small giggle as it disappears. <gasps> All right, Bodine, you're up. 
There's an invisible fly baby. I'll telephone game it, game it back. Yeah, there's a flying baby in there. That's disturbing. Hmm. Maybe it's like a little angel baby. You imagine how many rounds it would take if the if this game made your allies count as difficult terrain? Oh my gosh, what a miserable experience that would have been. Wow. Who would do that? Yeah, and and even then, what kind of DM would enforce that? Oh my god. We'll raise our weapon for doing carry. Yeah. And uh, do we hold an action in this game? Is that you can yeah, ready. so you can you can ready an action where you can spend two actions to ready one action, and you set like a trigger. Like if something appears near okay. me, I will stab it. Okay, I only, I only have one action, so I'll lock wait. the door. You want to be locked inside with it? No, block the door. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I guess my thirty-five is getting here. He wants a cage match, That's everybody. So that'll be it for me. Alright. Camille, you're up. Alright. Gregor, if you really want to be locked in there with that flying baby, I'll honor your decision. No. <laughs> okay, so So we're gonna God damn, I hope it doesn't have an AoE. Um Verso's gonna move into the doorway. And then Chamomile will act together um to before he moves uh she will drop a um fortify eidolon on him and then god damn it jeff and then um verso will use the remaining action economy to fire off his breath weapon into these squares right here sure. all right um so that would be Bwef Weapon. Go. So I'm... Uh, okay, what is your DC? Your DC is... Okay, uh, roll damage for me, please. Oh, sure. It is very sad to me that this Breath Weapon scales so poorly. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait. It says at third level it should be 2d6 now. So, so oh, oh, there you go. Four points of slashing damage. Oh, and it'll come back next round. That's cool. Um. So yeah, you you shoot out this like cone of like slashing uh, paper mm -hmm. into like this sector of the room. Um, you're not sure if it had any effect. Okay. Yeah, it would have been like those four spaces, I guess. Right? Because yep. all right. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's all right. my that's my turn. Um, you're up. All right, first action, Stride. Oh my God, what is going on in here? Um, I guess I will use an action to seek. Uh, uh sure. Roll. Yep. Uh, roll me a perception check. Do you want it blind? Uh, no. In, in combat, I just home rule that everything's open. Alright. Oh. I know you keep saying that, I, but I'm probably never yeah. going to stop it. I guess in some <laughs> cases I don't, because I literally did a hit and a roll before, because you can't see where the enemy is. But most of the time, when you guys are rolling, I just do open and roll. Um, but yeah, uh, you're kind of looking around for this creature, tr trying to like hear at form or see any like shimmer of like the invisibility magic, but you're not able to catch it. Alright, well I could try again, right? Yes, you can. Alright, last section. Oh, but I think I wrote the initiative that time. Oh no, never mind. It's just lagging. All right, and that's all yeah, I got. You're not able to pinpoint where this creature is. Uh, Gregor, you're up. All right. Uh, I will attempt to do to do that. So perception. How did you guys roll a perception check? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, all right, so you can hear uh, the flapping of wings emanating from this square. Oh, so, okay, so it's still where it was. Uh, all right. Do you have to see your target to demoralize? That is a good question. That's a great question. Cause I kind of, I kind of want to fake him out and be like, you know, do you think you're hidden? I know exactly no, where you are right before I try and cut him. <laughs> the wording is choose a creature within 30 feet of you who you're aware of. So you're aware he's in that square, so you can intimidate him. Excellent. Okay. Well, I will attempt and intimidate. Uh, to try to demoralize him. Oh, come on! Mm. 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 Uh, assuming I fail, but either way, I'm still going to try to slash him. Uh, sure, as before you roll your attack roll, uh, draw me a flat d20. Oh, uh, okay. yes. So, because uh, he is fully concealed, you need to be beat a flat 10. Uh, so you oh swing God. out your sword into the square, but you don't make contact with anything. Mm. Invisibility uh, is so we... strong in this game. I also gotta say, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my most common roll by a huge factor is a two mm. on d20s. I roll a lot of twos. Better than a one. That's my turn. So yeah, as you swing into this empty square, you see the creature like appear just above your sword and it goes to bite you once more. Um, you're flat-footed to the attack because it was invisible. Oh, uh... My shield is broken. Okay, another hit for... Another 12 damage. All and right. I need you to roll another fortitude save. And once more, you feel this demonic impulse trying to get forced into you, but you're just able to fight it off. Um, it will continue trying to, like, bite into your neck. It's not invisible this time, so I should see that. Uh, correct. So you wouldn't be flat-footed. Also, uh, I... the rules are private. Oh, thank you. Uh, it was a 24 out of interest. Um... That's so, a hit. Another 12 damage. Jesus. <laughs> oh! What was that? Another, oh, another third attack. Oh, another God. attack with with a plus two. However, it rolled a natural 20, which will make it a crit. As it, you, you all see this crit, you're just like bowing um, into Gregor's neck. Oh my God. Uh, for 24 damage, which will... Whoa knock you unconscious that's two that's two wounds as you are oh you're not dead get rid of that get that out of the yeah if, a, if you get <laughs> dropped to zero yeah. by a crit that's two wounds you're dying too oh my god all right all right Bojin, you're up <laughs> all right close and lock the door guys <laughs> Uh, we are going to... Um, I'm going to try to mock him. Uh -huh. Sure, draw me that Intimidate check. That's an arcana. Is Fandu just taking a while to roll, uh, load it? I can try to roll it if you want. No, I just, it didn't come up in my skills list. I wasn't sure why. Oh, Intimidation? Yeah. On the left. Oh. It's the fourth, fourth see, one down on the there. left. It's the it's the tab with the oh, hand. For some reason, my my thing is rolling above instead of below. Like the list is opening above instead of below. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't know why it defaults to that sometimes. If you go into configure settings, and then go to 
uh, uh, token action HUD, there's an option for direction, and you can set that to down instead of up. I don't know why it keep changes. It changes to up sometimes, and I don't know why. Um, regardless, um, okay. you try to intimidate this creature, but it just kind of like giggles in your face. It like it gets like right up close to you. Let me try to change that real quick because I can't access my other stuff. Where, under game settings, where is it? Mm. So, yeah, configure settings uh, for uh, token action HUD, and then one of the options you can select is direction. Gotcha. You can also make the HUD bigger, too. Or smaller. Right, well, then we're going to strike its rapier. Twenty-seven will hit. For three oh, damage, as you you pierce uh, through one of his wings. All right, Chamomile, you're up. Okay, we're gonna act together, and we are gonna activate. Uh, Verso, who is going to move to here, and then Chamomile will move to here, with Act Together, and then with the second action, a Jeff is going to fly in to save his friend, his best friend in the entire world. And it's going to be fly-on-fly fly action here. As Jeff comes in, and he's going to show him what a real proboscis looks like, baby. Alright, so is he flat-footed? Uh, yes, he is. Alright. I believe Boundary should auto-make him flanked. Incredible. If it doesn't, right. I will add it manually. Alright, here we go. Oh. Uh, 17 misses by one. Because it's flanked. So he is flanked, but he still misses by one. Got it. Correct. All right. Then with the last action, uh, Versa was going to attack with his slashing fibers. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm going to use a hero point to reroll that. Go for it. All right. Uh, 18. 18 just hits because it's flanked. Nice. 12 damage. 12 points of damage. Okay. You see this, the, like, the rapid like fluttering of the wings is like slowing down, and the creature's like, barely able to keep itself off the floor. Alright, and that is my full action economy. Um, wait, no. I will post Pork out in the hallway with his independent action. And that's my turn. Alright. Alright, Fallon, you're up. Um... I'm going to cast a two-action heal. All right. Targeting uh, Mr. Gregor. I can't target him because the flies on him, but we'll know who it's for. And this should have automatically gone up now. Nice. Yeah, there we go. God damn. So yeah, Gregor, you, you feel this like holy uh, energy like go through your body as you're healed for 25 health. Um, and then for my last action, I'm going to look at these guys and I'm going to tell them, why aren't you doing anything? Every action you take will be judged. When we didn't sign up to fight the devil. I now. thought we were going home. Um, ro roll a diplomacy check. I'm alright at those. Ooh. Mm, alright, I suppose you did get us out. Then 
That's everything I got. <laughs> uh, he will miss. Uh, Gregor, you're up. It's something. All right. Uh, I assume that in, there is an action to rise from prone. Correct. I will use my first action to do that. I will stand up. Uh, would I cons- be considered to still have a grip on my weapon, or do I need an action to uh, grab that from the ground as well? Uh, you would still be holding it. Oh, okay. wow. All right. Uh, Death grip. I assume it's like as you're rising from prone, you pick it up in like an act, like kind of the same motion deal. Mm, I don't know. Anyways, that's, that's just arthritis with old age. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, quickly realizing I have a bunch of uh, people be, like around me and such, I will go to strike at this thing. It should be flat-footed against me. Mm-hmm. Correct. All right. So I'm just, yeah, let's just uh, wail on this guy. Oof. Here, boy. I will try again. Uh, you know what? I'm still a little dazed. I uh, was completely bleeding out there just like about three seconds ago. So try this again. There you go. There uh, uh, 20 will hit? Yeah, sorry. I forgot to target it. Uh... For another oh. eight points of damage. I, like, go to raise my shield and realize it's just, like, this broken, tattered thing hanging half off my arm, and that's my turn. Alright, you will see the creature, like, desperately uh, looking around. You can see that it's out, it's outnumbered and injured, injured, and you see it, like, muttering an incantation under its breath, and with, like, a flourish of its hands, it will disappear. You will see, like, this... Uh, red like circle appear behind it and he will get sucked through it and disappear ah I don't have any reaction that can do anything about that so oh yep I think identifying a spell that's cast is like a whole fucking feat or something so I've got it but I can't really see it right could I see like the red, or you said it was behind it? I probably couldn't see it. From this him cast the spell from here, right? Uh, yeah, through a wall. Yeah, yeah I, I would say you're not able to see it. Okay. Yeah, I do have recognized spell as a feat. For when it comes in. Wah. Well, I guess well, we made it right away. Uh, I guess we should do the same, right? Yeah, I don't want to okay. be here any longer. Did you? Did you okay, know that crazy. flying baby? No. Oh. Not you. I've been locked up for ages. Whoa, there's a robot in here. Yeah, so you actually see a pair of hulking humanoid objects stands quietly in this chamber, each covered in a thick layer of dust. Oh, man. I'm going to start spending 10 minutes on Gregor. I would like to use recall knowledge on these, please. Uh, sure. I will start with the um, Arcana, and then I will move into crafting. Mm-hmm. All right. Here's an Arcana. Here's a crafting. Uh, yeah, you're you're looking at these, and you can identify that they are uh, golems, um, but they seem uh, deactivated, and you feel like they've been off for quite some time. You're not sure if there's a way to reactivate them at all. I don't want to embarrass the people that built this dungeon, but um, how are they going to get their uh, golems out of this room? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. <laughs> I have no answers for you. Um, uh, Valen, you said you were spending some time healing Gregor? I try, yeah, and I, tr- I just noticed Boudin's got some cuts too, so I'd like to spend some time to heal him as well. Sure. I try not to be so critical, but I just it doesn't make any sense sometimes. You know, you got dungeons with no bathrooms. You got you got golems in a room they can't get out of. Like that's for Gregor. That's for excellent. Boudin. Uh. And does that cure my wound when I get doctored? Yep, when you get healed from treat wounds, all Correct. of your wounds go away. Okay. Beauty. 
All right, Jeff is fussing. Hey. Is Je Jeff is fussing over your wounds, ma making sure that you're okay. I'm struggling to reconcile the fact that that uh, uh, fly baby brought up so much revulsion that I immediately lashed out at it. Whereas I'm starting to not mind as much. Jeff, uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> hanging around trying to help. I'm gonna search move. this room before I leave because I see there's like a bed thing and there's like I don't know if that's a bench or a shelf or something. But before I, uh, yes, yeah, so well, there's a converse so it symbol appears on to the be ground. Some kind of it, it appears to be some kind of like living quarters that this creature lived in. But you can see over the time that he spent here, he's like drawn all over the walls to depict what appears to be hell. Um, but as you're like looking around, you don't seem to notice anything of value. There's just the the like grass bed, and then that's it. Wait. Damn. Okay. I don't have much left in the tank. I don't know if it's a good di good idea to take these guys to the trick. Uh. Wah. Yeah, a baby almost beat the crap out of me. All right. Uh, OOC question. Um, animal companion is Jeff level three? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. How, do, how does that work? Do I just hit number three and then all the stuff? Yeah, gets... Oh, nice. It, it, okay. it just auto update. Yep. Hell yeah. Thank you, chat. <laughs> I know that you're eager, but... No, it's fine. Can we get out of here? Yeah, sure. Um, uh, so, uh... How do you how did you how do you guys think that we would get out of here out of just professional curiosity? Well, if the dragon's asleep, we could sneak past it, and our boat should still be there. Oh right, okay. Uh, Cam's gonna look at Valen and be like, eh, eh, maybe. Eh. Um, I mean, we can give it a shot. I just don't want him to know about the chair room. It's too precious. You know, I just don't want him leaving. Can you send that Pork about this place? Can you send Pork over to close the secret door to oh. our yeah. special room? I don't know if Pork is. Oh uh, yeah, Pork knows where the button is, right? So Pork's gonna fly back. And... Well, I thought we always close it. When yeah, we leave. Pork's gonna. Because you know, like we might have left the stove on. Pork's gonna go back and double check, make sure we didn't leave the. And Bodine's gonna go scout to see if the thing is sleepy. Are you guys hearing these these whispers? Yeah, man, it's like a haunted dungeon. I don't like this place. I don't think many well, people do. It, it used to it. Um, we could <laughs> be here for a while. Yeah, do you have another dungeon in mind somewhere? Like one that's less spooky. It's a good thing that we're here. This place reeks of necromancy, and I can't abhor it. No, I meant I do abhor it. Th th there you go. And I'm I gonna... can't abide it. I'm gonna park here until Bodine tells me what he sees down the way. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to stealth mode. <laughs> yep. Oh my gosh. I'm all gonna my... just, like, peek through and make sure that... He scraped all the moss off, right? So we don't gotta worry about that. So yeah, as, as you're looking around here, uh, you can see the moss that was here before uh, is gone, but you can see these like thick globules of like uh, green goo that are kind of like coated along the wall. Oh, good God. You made it throw up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is definitely the entrance we came in, the one where you had to swim down, right? Am I right, guys? Swimming? That's how we got in. Swimming. I'm going to sell not directly behind Boudin, like mm. 20 feet behind him. So I can just keep him in eyesight. Ooh, is there time for me to go all the way around to the other uh, water entrance? Uh, so, Bean, uh, Bodin, as you get, like, you, like, kind of dive into the water and have a look around, um, it appears the River Drake isn't here anymore, but you kind of look around you and you can just see more and more of this like green goo that has just been like spat onto the walls.
Well, he's not here. Okay, well, let's take a look. Um, I'm gonna go up and try and inspect this green goop. See if I can identify what it is. Uh, yep, sure. That'd be nature. I'm rolling a blind check. Awesome. Um, oh, I closed my eyes so I can't see it. I closed <laughs> my eyes so I can't see it. Never mind. Oh well. Uh, you you do identify like remnants of the uh, the brown mold in these like large globules, and you do remember uh, learning about the river drake that it was able to spit out like a globule of acid. Um, from your understanding, it appears that it somehow just kept uh, doing this, and then you're not sure what's happened to it since then. But it's it's just completely covering all the walls. Yeah. I'm gonna try to scout ahead. Give me a half speed. As you're swimming through the water, Bodine, uh, kind of tucked away underneath some of like the vines and like the roots here, you can see what appears to be a chest. Oh dang! Wait, are you stealthing or just swimming? Stealthing. Oh, okay. But I'm amphibious, so I got a bit faster swim speed. Hype. Yeah, I tell, I tell. Um these guys like don't worry he's a water cat he knows what he's doing he'll come back and let us know when it's safe yeah we've never dude we've worked with him before oh, oh there's have. doors over here what what work did you do with him i wonder what's behind them i mean maybe ask for oh. about that not us oh. Not. What do you mean? Why, why can't I ask you? You oh. know, you're not very forthcoming for someone that saved you. What's in here? Yeah, to well, chest tough luck. Oh. Tough luck? There's another door over here. Oh, some stairs. So as as you, uh, <laughs> uh, you, you go to open uh, the chest, um, oh, yeah, Camille, you did find some <laughs> stairs going down. <laughs> um, you appear to uh, see what appears to be this massive crate axe with a skull on the back of it. Uh, you also find a wayfinder, uh, which is a compass that can be used uh, to attune to uh, Aeon stones. And you also find a wand and 36 gold pieces. And I'll throw all that in the loot. I don't know how I got here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was... I think I phased through a wall. I'm sorry. I'll come find you in a moment. Uh, okay. <laughs> Where are you? Uh, uh, I'll, I'll just swim back around. I We didn't swim. Honest to God, we just phased yeah. through the wall. I, I think because we use, like, follow me and there's so many of us, Foundry's, like, accidentally, like, glitches us. Anyways. Yeah. Um. Unit collision. you got to end up somewhere. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I posted those items in the chat. Um, you're aware what all of them are. Uh, you know the wand is actually a wand of magic missile level one, uh, but you do know that there's something odd about this great axe, um, but you're not sure what it is unless you try to inspect it. Oh, I'm going to use my message cantrip to message the party. I'm going to tell them that I'm on the other side where those three boats were by the um, the slug room. And then I found a staircase leading down, and I found a, a door that's locked. Nope. Well, if the dragon's not here, I'm taking my moment. Come on, lads, let's get out of here. Okay, well, we'll take you back to town. Because... There's actually, uh, anyways, yeah, let's all go back yeah, to town together. Hurry up, guys. I'm all trying. Right, well. I gotta, I'm going to restart and choose shitty potato, I guess, because I'm dying. <laughs> I don't know if everyone's going to fit in the boat, but... I mean... Two of us are small. Boudin can like. Yeah, I can. I can actually unsummon Verso. So. All right, let's. I guess squeeze it. Let's get going. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
unless we can get back up to the dock, there was another boat there. All right, shitty potato it is. Reloading. Yeah, since I went to shitty potato, I haven't had any problem with lagging. So. Yeah. I think, I think it, there's a shitty potato inside each of us. Just, you gotta learn to love it. Oh man, now I've got the mode 7 uh, raster effects or whatever. I'm just zooming around the map. Nice. Alright. I did kill my music though. Oh, there it goes. Alright, so we're leaving? Is that the plan? Yeah, I think we should go back to town. Alright, is this boat some kind of side entrance? What was that about the boat, sorry? Are you boat, like a side entrance or something? I think this was the entrance underneath the dock. Oh, under the dock's entrance. Yeah, okay. so just to, just to clarify where to like line up where you were, mm -hmm. I'm just going to activate this map quickly. So, we um, so the boat that the boat that you found was the boat you saw on the first map, right? Um, so yeah. Oh, you guys can't. I see guess the map. my token's not actually on there, so I can't see anything. Yeah, hold on. Let me drag you all over. Oh yeah. So you arrived. You arrived out here. The boat that is in this. Island oh, the so there was. This was a cave under here. Yep. So you oh. swam out from under here. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. Back, back to Otari. So we never figured out where those mossy steps went from the um, right. moat house. And we found a locked door at the end. Um, but yeah, so as as you guys like are on this boat, um, they'll like uh, end here, and then from there they'll walk back to Otari. Mm -hmm. And as you guys are walking... So, did you, like, come looking for us, or were you just exploring as well? What's the deal? Uh, we were hired by someone to actually track you down. We're a rescue party, baby. Uh, uh, I suppose if it was Yin then, I suppose I owe that woman my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she said she, she couldn't raise your baby by herself, so... <laughs> I don't appreciate you joking like that. Oh. Uh, you can see the other two have, like, a smirk that they're trying to hide on their face. After your ordeal, a, a little bit of humor to, to lighten the mood. Unless it's a real concern, is it? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, oh, I think I'm onto something here. Romance detectives are the case. So do you like her, or do you like like her? Could we talk about something else? Oh my goodness. Alright, well, I suppose we could get back to town from here. Yeah, well, we, li uh, we live in town too, do? chum. So, it's like, we're not following you. We this We're also from town. Don't flatter yourself. I wouldn't want to get between you and your lady love, you know. We also have, uh... Make sure that there's someone in town who knows that we brought them back. Alright, well, I suppose you didn't promise you a reward or something. Yeah, I mean, for sure. If you if you got something you feel like, you know, reciprocity, you want to, you know, you want to give because give you took or you got or whatever. I mean, we accept tips, uh, positive reviews, things like that. I mean, Otari doesn't really have a tipping culture, so I don't know where you're coming from, but well, you know, I thank you it, regardless, and Jin will give you a reward. I see. I mean, it's, Do you it's have a few minutes to fill out this survey about your rescue? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if it'll get you to stop talking to me... Well, yeah, on a scale of 1 to 5, 1 being the worst, or 5 being the best, how would you rate the rescue that you received today? Two. Hmm? Two? Two? Wow, what? 
All right, follow up question. Why did you rate? Why did you rate the rescue only a two out of five? Mm, they got us to fight some kind of devil. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, mm, you know what? I mean, you um, didn't really fight. You kind of yeah, just ran up it. Yeah, you kind of wave up. waved your stick sword shank? around. Is that a shank? Yeah, I don't know. Were, Whatever. Were you, I guess you were in prison. But why would you need that if you're a person with your friends? Yeah. I mean, look, I ran up, and then I tried to stab it, and then it ran away. I thought I did a pretty good job. Mm. I thought you did a good job, too, until you came out with that sour puss attitude. Yeah, two, two out of five stars. Wow. Wow. See if you get rescued again. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. We even, we even, yeah, we even gave you your stuff here. back. We even gave you your stuff back. Unreal. Two out of five stars. Oh my gosh. Uh, at, th at this point, the three of them will head into the Crook's Nook mm. um, if anyone wishes to join them. <laughs> yeah. I, do. Well, I was following Bodine, but yeah, we'll go wherever. Oh, yeah. I thought they were. I want to flex this plus. Ele I want to flex this plus eleven diplomacy. Let's let's do this. Okay, whoever's doing the like gazillion movements, you are mm. killing my system here. <laughs> Brad, I'm com I'm committed now. I'm sorry. I can't I can't stop it. Oh, all right. Nope, I'm still going. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so you 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 see these three individuals walk in, and you see Yin, uh, Yin kind of look up from the bar. Ah, oh, you're all back. Are you all okay? Is everything all right? And then you'll see the dwarf like kind of grumble and then like go and sit off in a corner by himself. And then Yin will shrug. Uh, one, what the human figure that you rescued uh, will pipe up. Ah, these, all these fine people saved us. I believe you owe them some kind of reward. Yeah, uh, yes, of course. Uh, come here. And she'll go and grab what appears to be this like rather large sack of gold from underneath the counter and like plop it down in front of you all. Oh, do we want to Geralt? Do we want to Geralt of Rivia this shit and like grunt at her and ask for more money, or do we just take it? Uh, I'm good with just we're, taking it. <laughs> we're probably gonna have future relations. All right, all right, all right. Mm, relations, you say? <laughs> so, um. When we were rescuing those guys, uh, <clears throat> one of them kept crying out in his sleep uh, a certain lady's name. She'll raise an eyebrow. Mm. Oh, and who might that be? Uh, Chamomile's massive anime eyeballs uh, roll to the side towards Goral Vetter's secret uh, admirer. Um, you'll see her like try to stifle a laughter. Oh, yes, I, I'm sure he was. Wow, pretty confident in yourself. Yeah, nice. I mean, it was a long time ago. Oh! Man. Yeah, I, I can see why you stopped. He's kind of a uh, pissy. He's kind of a dick, isn't he? He's kind of a yeah. wimp, honestly. Like, we, so we, were, trying, we were trying to arrange, like, a team-up. So that all of us could take on like the uh, there was a dragon and we were all gonna take on the dragon together and they were just like crying the whole time, just like crying nonstop, just crying like babies. And we we're like, come on guys, we could do it. They're like, no way. It was it was well, really embarrassing. I can't really blame someone for not wanting to fight a dragon, but well, it was uh, like a little trick. It was. A... And so regardless, I'm, I'm glad they're back safe. Mm. Yeah. Um, in the future, you should trust the kind of work that you would have given to those guys to us, the Redeemers. Uh, well, if, if you're up to it, but I'm not sure how open-minded you'll be to some of the work I give. It's pretty simple. We send Grandpa for a walk, you tell us what you need done, and then we tell him what he needs to hear. Sounds like a plan. If I've got any work for you, I'll let you know. We'll be in town resupplying for the next few weeks. So yeah. Do you have any stale bread? Up? Like any stale bread crust? Uh, it helps to have something for Grandpa to do on his walk, so we have him feed the ducks, you know? Uh, I don't have any bread, actually. 
Um, but the other inn just nearby, the Rowdy Rockfish, I'm, I've heard they have rather good pastries. Uh, I no. will go take tea with your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Damn. what we're calling it? Dang. She's in Rook's Alley, right? No, nah, she's up. Uh, Rin, uh, she's up the top. Uh, Rin's Wonders is up here, where yeah, she uh, generally the spends the, most of her time. The rocks. Okay, well, we have a to-do list that we got to take care of. We got to get stuff identified. We got to get downtime activities. Hopefully, make it through three weeks without the town blowing up. If we were told about the uh, the axe, you know, it, we have skill checks. We can try and identify it ourselves. Mm. Oh yeah, no, I'd let you guys know about it. I'm not gonna. Oh, well, how much Ooh, money? Did, how much money did they pay us? Did it end up on the the sheet already? Uh, let me double check if I put it in, but I believe I did. Uh, yes, I did. It was fifty gold. Oh my, oh god. my god! Wow. Ooh, glad yeah. I didn't kill them. Yeah. I was close. <laughs> Were you really? Wow, I don't understand where all this rage comes from. Yeah, what is that? I mean, it's just it's uh, ineffective. It's clean over it's... for Monday. It's clean over for Monday. Wow. No, no, no. I mean, she, I mean, mm. she's true neutral. I mm. mean, she, she mm. doesn't have any problem uh, <laughs> fucking someone up. I mean, there's a difference <laughs> between fucking someone up and murdering someone. Hey, Gregor. Hmm? I had a steel shield that I've put into the inventory. Oh. It's in the player loot right now. So you don't have to buy another one or repair the one you got. Well, I have crafting. Nice. I can fix things. So, so the Great Axe is actually Narakus's, uh deity weapon, mm -hmm. favorite weapon. So I'm, uh, I'm not saying I'm going to use it because, like, look at me. But uh, I, I'd like to figure out what it does. Um, as you're trying to inspect it, uh, you're not entirely sure what it is, Greg. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know what this thing does. Uh, thank All right. you. For... Arcana check. Secret. Crafting check. Religion Secret. Check. Secret. Nature check. Secret. Nature check. Secret. I'm gonna intimidate the axe too. Secret. I'm gonna ask it to be my friend. Secret. <laughs> I'm gonna. Right. I'm gonna uh... read it some library books secretly. Uh, Camille, uh, you're <laughs> eventually able to uh, figure out what this axe is. Um, it does take you some time, and kind of like the group, kind of like gathering around, putting all their knowledge together. Uh, Val, and you're also able to figure out what it is. Uh, but you know, this is a retribution axe. Uh, the blade of this plus one great axe bears the design of a human skull. Whenever a creature damages you with an attack, the skull changes its appearance to look like the face of that creature. You gain a plus two circumstance bonus to your next damage roll against that creature before the end of your next turn. Oh, that's cool. So how meta would it be to ask you guys to hold on to that axe in case my in case I have to play my skeleton barbarian? <laughs> would that be too meta to be like, I don't know guys, someday... There might be a uh, big skeleton that wants to use that axe. Just throwing it out there. I uh, I it, do feel like um, certain things. If we if we I don't know. Like I don't know that we'd want to liquidate every single thing. Right. Like immediately. Mm -hmm. I think we should liquidate and get ourselves in a position to succeed. So, so now. what you're saying is you have something expensive you want to buy? No, mm -hmm. not not particularly. Ooh, I can use that wand of magic missiles because I'm an arcane spellcaster. Yeah, I was gonna ask. I was gonna ask if you could because I yep. can't use that. Though I was gonna. Yoink. I almost took the feet to let me, but I figured you could take those. Mm. All right. Um. So yeah, the silver sword cane. Uh, I feel like we should sell it. Look at this. It's worth forty-four gold. I can. Put my plus one icon on that and it'd be a silver weapon it would not be bad for me to use Ooh. oh okay in that case then i think you should use it yeah so we know what that's do. super cool it counts as a it counts as a rapier right yeah uh, it's, it's it uh it's similar to a rapier but it is a bit different I believe. okay i don't think it has like the uh deadly that the rapier has yeah, so instead of having debris, it has concealable, which means if you're trying to sneak a weapon in somewhere, it makes it easier. Oh. But it is it, silver, and silver weapons have bonuses against something, so. 
Yes, I don't know what I just evil. Mm -hmm. Aeon, st Aeon Stone does, but it sounds pretty cool. Where is that at? I don't see that in the inventory. Oh, look at read the Wayfinder. Wayfinder. So yeah, Aeon Stones are like uh, items that are like imbued with like a small amount of magic. Uh, typically, you can have like one imbued to a person, but you can also imbue them to a Wayfinder. Yeah, these are basically Ion Stones that you buy off of like you know discount bootleg shops. You know. Because they can't call them Ion Stones, they gotta call them Aeon Stones, you know? I mean, no, no, right. no shade, no shade. Hello, shade. Um, but yeah, if, if you guys are planning to, like, uh, bunker down in time, do some retraining, uh, we can kind of expedite it if you guys know what you want to do. Yes. Um, I do. I know I want to research an uncommon spell. Hmm. And I wouldn't mind subtract getting a minus, reducing my con to get a plus to get more charisma. I don't know if that constitutes the three weeks. Um. So yeah. So the way that so essentially with retraining, it's a week uh, per feat. Um. The rules is written. You can't change your ability boost, but I would just say it's the same rules for. Um, training, retraining a feat. So for like each boost that you want to like reassign, it's a week of downtime. And how long does it take to learn an uncommon spell? Or a rare spell? So yeah, let me double check. Um, I don't believe it takes that long. Uh, so the main thing is you would have to figure out a way to get access to the spell. You would need to like find a scroll that you could copy from or have someone to teach you the spell. Um, but it only takes you an hour per level of the spell to actually learn it. But you have to beat a DC and spend some gold as well. Okay, can I, like, spend time trying to see if I can find maybe this one of the spells I'm looking for in, like, the library? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Um, so if you're looking specifically for a divine spell, um, you would definitely be able to find it in the library. Um, so you would have to you would have to buy the scroll, and then you would also have to spend money to try to learn it from the scroll. Mm. Okay. Uh, so, just uh, what what spell are you trying to learn? I don't know yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. This uh, bode spray sounds pretty cool, <laughs> but I'm, how, I'm I'm taking a look. How much would it cost to uh, swap the plus one rune from? The rapier to the sword cane. Uh, so if one of you was doing it uh, themselves, the price is only 10% uh, of the rune cost. So I believe a plus one rune is 35 gold. Um, so it would be 3.5 gold to transfer. Um, it might be a bit more expensive if you get someone else to do it. Well, Rash, right, so are you an expert crafter? No, you can only raise. We're not. I'm not rogue, so I was only able to raise one skill to expert. So I chose um, diplomacy. Okay, so I'd have to pay somebody else to do. Which it. seems like a weird flex on a dungeon-based campaign, but I have a very special heritage feat that relies on my diplomacy. So, so yeah, um, Bodine, as you're kind of looking around town for someone who can kind of do this process for you. Um, you eventually run in, you learn that the blacksmith in uh, Blades for Glades is actually pretty well craft, uh, well learned in magical crafting. Uh, so he's a bit grumpy to do so, but he does say that he'd be able to do it, uh, but he would charge an extra two gold. So it'd be a total of 5.5 uh, uh, gold to get the rune transfer. Do you guys mind me taking that out of the group loot? What is it, 5.5 gold? Go yeah, for it. Do. Yeah, do it. Uh, do, do we want to split the gold? Sell and split the gold? Or do we want to... I haven't, like... I didn't expect us to shop, so I don't really have any idea of what I would want to buy besides whatever the scroll is. I'm fine with us leaving it as a pool right now, because I think... Yeah, let's just kind of do what we want doing and get back in there as soon as we can. Um, Valen, one thing you might be interested in buying is you're aware that the Farmer's Guild uh, sells alchemical items. 
And you know, most healing items uh, don't work on your constitution, but you do know alchemical items do. Oh, you know what I, I would like to buy? I would like to buy yeah, a recipe book so I could make something with crafting since we're going to be here for three weeks. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, what what kind of item were you Because my make? character was perfectly crafted. It doesn't require any retraining. Yeah. Um, let's see. I want to craft healing potions. Can you craft uh, the ones that don't do positive, please? Yeah, they're it's alchemical, so they. Uh, yeah. So to 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 craft alchemical items, you would have had had to have taken the alchemical crafting feat. What? Um, it's however, a special I'm, feat? Oh no! I'm, I, I'm looking at your character sheet. Did you choose your general feat? Because it's blank on your character sheet. I took a second racial feat. With my general feat. Your general feat can be used to purchase another first level heritage feat. Is I is is that a name of a general feat? Yeah. It was on Path Builder. It's called here. I'll bring up Path Builder. Since yeah, I'm being I audited. Ugh. Ugh. I just I remember it being a human thing. I didn't know it was a general feat. Uh humans get something a little bit different than that. Uh let's see. Mm-hmm. Booting it up. Uh, let's see. Menu. Open character. There's many steps. Oh my god. I'm trying my best. No, you're fine. I'm reading so much right now. I didn't look at any of the uncommon oh, spells. Oh, an Ancestral Paragon. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, okay. I'll just add that onto your actor sheet in thing. So, that, uh, the golem, did it need clockwork parts in it? That was missing from it? I don't know what was missing from it. I just knew that it wasn't working. Because I just looked in our treasure and we have clockwork parts in there. Oh. I was like, oh, well, that might. Uh, the cl yeah, the clockwork parts were from that desk you found just outside the Murloc's Mur like main room. Oh, I have an ability called Crafter's Appraisal. Your knowledge of items construction allows you to discern their magical effects as well. You can use crafting instead of a skill associated with a magical tradition to identify magic items. Oh, that's cool. Should I throw the glaive and the half plate into the selling list since they're large size? Is none of us a large size? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Ash, I posted what I would like to do in the chat. Quick question. Um, dancing shield, right? So let's say I cast this and it hovers around Gregor, but Gregor's got his shield also. Does he get double the bonus? Uh, no, he doesn't. Um, because if you get uh, two bonuses of the same type, you only take the higher bonus. So he would be okay. getting... Okay, next question. Would it work? So let's say I pick up a shield and I cast this and I have a levitate around Boudin. When he does his parry feature, would that also negate it? I, I believe so, because the power gives the same kind of bonus that a shield does. Okay. So can I make, like, anything with crafting the way I have it, or do I not have, like, like the right feats to actually craft anything? Uh, so, yeah, so crafting is pretty limited unless you take specific, either alchemical or magical crafting. Mm -hmm. uh, you can still make any, uh, like, mundane item, like if you just wanted to make a shield for uh, Gregor since his broke, or something like that, you could do mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. um, or, like, you could make, like, a healer's tools or, like, uh, uh, thieves' tools or all those, like, kind of mundane items. Um, um, but you wouldn't be able to make uh, magical or alchemical items. Got it. Okay. Then I will just work for three weeks. Uh, sure. Uh, what kind of work would you be looking for? Would you be looking for, like, crafting? Or, like, what skill would you want to be using? I would be looking to be a shopkeeper at the bookshop using diplomacy to make the sales. Yep, that, that would work. Okay. Um, 
uh, Morblin kind of gets you like going out to town, kind of like describing like a new sale that's going on. And over the three weeks at the end of the, well, however long you guys are spending in town, he will pay mm. you for that amount. Okay. Uh, so that is that is chamomile uh, sorted. Uh, so yeah, Lars, there's no cost to retrain stuff. It's just time, so it's a week per feet. And then it is a five point five gold to transfer uh, your ruins over. Would you be able to do the transfer on my sheet, or is that something I'm able to control? Uh, so you want it to be on your shield boss? Yeah, and I would take the shifting off of the warhammer, and I would make my longsword ghost touch. Okay, so so your longsword at the moment doesn't have a plus one. Um, Correct. So uh, if it doesn't have a plus one, it can't have a property rune, I believe. Unless your no, feet no, but that's, change. It's, fr it's, fr it's from my divine ally. It's, uh, let me read it out here. T -t 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 divine ally. So, blade ally. Spirit of battle dwells within my armament. Select one weapon. When I make my daily preparations in my hands, the item gains the effect of a property rune for a champion following tenants of good. I choose disrupting, ghost touch, returning, or shifting. Yep, okay. Um, so I just wasn't sure. So the, the way uh, runes like that work is you get to have one property rune for each plus one bonus you have. Um, uh, but I, I, from reading this, I think it just adds onto it. Uh, so that should be fine. So I'll fiddle with your items. I'll make your shield boss a plus one. All right, and how do I... Oh, remove coins. Five gold and five silver for the cost. Um, what rune did you want on your longsword, sorry? Just remind me. The plus one from the Warhammer. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Longsword is no rune, just the property of Ghost Touch. Ghost Touch, yep. Yeah, sorry. And then the plus one rune from the Warhammer, I'm paying to have that move to the shield boss. Yep. Question. Yes. I cast light on Gregor's shield. Gregor, yes. I then cast Fear the Sun on enemy. It critically fails and gains light blindness. Will it be immediately become blinded, as is the description of light blindness and the spell? I'm guessing if that light counts, as, the light from the light spell counts as bright enough light to trigger the light blindness. Correct. Uh, so when you when you read the description of light, I believe it says like there's a distance for bright light and then there's a distance for dim light. So if it's within that first area, it will be blinded. Okay. Which I, I believe learn, is 20 feet. I will try to learn fear the sun. That's awesome and very thematic. <laughs> Yeah. I actually almost wanted because I'm putting Ghost Touch on the Longsword on the you know in case we get another uh, incorporeal enemy, but if I ever get a weapon that actually legit has Ghost Touch, uh, I want to put Disrupting on my Longsword because it does extra damage to undead. Yeah, I think both are very good, mm -hmm. particularly the Ghost Touch because we're bound to fight more ghosts. Alright, yeah. uh, so to buy a second level scroll, it would be uh 12 gold um because it's uncommon the price would be a bit higher uh it would be 15 gold and then okay. uh to learn the spell it would be additional six gold and you need to beat a dc all right 21 gold DC. you guys are cool with this right absolutely Oh, I have a pot oh, me absolutely. I have a potency rune plus one just in my inventory. Do you, should I throw that into the player loot? Is that? Yeah, probably. I thought you were gonna put it, give it to Verso. No, Verso can't benefit from a weapon potency, uh, right? Okay. No, but if you're holding a weapon with plus one, he um, gets a plus one. Go. Okay, I would like to buy a sling and put the weapon potency plus one on the sling. Okay. Uh, so, a... and so we're not liquidating the shining sling bullets, then, right? Correct. Correct. I don't and... think we should liquidate the shining. Oh, nope, they're bullets. gone. They're in my inventory now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, who who could use this okay, wayfinder? Okay. We shouldn't get rid of the wayfinder either. Oh, I, would, I think I mean, we should I... save it until we encounter I... something where we need it. Wait, so is this a does this give you an action to activate it to cast command or is that to command the Aeon Stone or whatever? 
Uh, it's also a badge of office for the Pathfinder Society. We might want to find somebody from there. We might get a good reward for returning it to them. Or we could use it to... Doesn't this track down um, Aeon Stones? I don't believe it does. Oh. Uh, also, with, with, with the command thing, it's just saying that's the type of action that it uses. One mm. action command. And then it does okay. the... Okay, so okay. it, it will Which... light up, basically. That's all it does. Is it just just lights yeah. on it. Right now, oh. that's what it does, yeah. So I wouldn't need you to cast light on me. Yeah, you should take it. Yeah, and then I can replace the light cantrip. Okay, I'll take the wayfinder. Do you just get to cast light whenever you want? As long Apparently. As, as long as you have With it. With the Please. item, yeah. So does that mean that the Wayfinder, like, that's an innate thing, or is there, like, an Ion Stone of Light in this particular Wayfinder? No, that's just... Way, wayfinders just have that innate ability. Okay, okay. Okay, um... Alright, what's the DC for this, to learn the scroll? Uh, so, because it's a... It would be religion. Do you want it blind? Uh, no, it can be open. Yeah, I guess I don't know if I failed. <laughs> uh, 21 is a success. So you may awesome. add that spell to your spell list. And I will subtract 21 gold from the party loot. Sorry, guys. Yeah. I don't want to uh, hurt myself here, but I just realized shield boss is technically in the shield group, would a weapon potency rune work on one? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, yay. So, how do I turn my sling into a weapon potency sling? Um, I will update it for you, okay. um, but just just spend the 5.5 gold to... Even from a runestone, you still have to pay the money to like transfer it over. Okay. Um, but we'll make it Installation cost. And then uh, one of us needs to be an expert crafter so we can uh, do this ourselves. It says I have insufficient coins to remove coins. I don't know how to change the... Do it out of the player loot. I'll do it. Five gold, five silver, remove value, not specific type. Yeah, there we go. Mm. It has been paid for. Oh, got it. You, you had to check that box, remove value, not specific type. Yeah, because otherwise we only had three silvers, so if you were trying to deduct five oh, silver... Oh, I get it. Okay. Yeah. Wow. All right, your sling's been updated, and Verso has also been updated with plus ones. So do I delete the weapon potency rune now? Yes. Okay. Okay. Are potency runes, like, on an open market? Are these things that are, like, available for purchase? Or were we just exceedingly lucky finding the amount that we have already? Uh, so depending on the city you're in, uh, Otari is, like, catered to serving adventurers, but they typically only sell uh, consumable items. Uh, if you went to, like, a big, big adventuring town or, like, a big hub city like um, Absalon, uh, they would be pretty common to buy. Okay. okay. So... What about this fear gem that's a uh, one charge consumable uh, affixes to a weapon? Do we want to bother using it or do we want to try to sell it? It's only got a street value of 20 gold, so when we sell it, we don't get what, a, lot, a lot of money for it, right? What does it do? Um, two two Pac-Man's intimidating strike. Uh, when you activate the gem, you make an intimidating strike as if you were a fighter. Uh, uh, so essentially, the, that feat is if you hit, um, they're frightened one. If you critically hit, they're frightened two. And that's a consumable, or is that yeah, a it just goes no, it just one time. Oh, so sell it. it. Okay, I'll move it to the sell right, list. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm also going to go over to that place that was recommended to look at the alchemical supplies that they have. Uh, sure, so I'll pop up the shop for you. All right, under the Shops tab, there should be a shop called the Farmer's Guild, which will have items in it. Um, I just want to confirm you guys are selling everything that's in the selling list. There's the Rapier, Retribution Axe, another Rapier, Warhammer, Saddler, the Armor, the Opal, the Fear Gem. Did that all sound good? Mm-hmm. 
I think so, but... ten gold in there for some reason. Where's uh, the that's, selling that's list? That's from previous items. Okay. Oh, the selling list is a whole separate thing. Neat. Wait, so is that our ten gold from selling last yes, time? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. You guys can take money out of the selling list. Oh. I'll just drag it over to the party loot. It has been moved. Yo, guys, these uh, healing potions, the non-positive ones, are only three gold each. They've got five in stock. I think we should just take them all. Yeah, we should. Do it up. Yeah. They're also selling fruit salad for four silver pieces each. I don't know what it does, but it M sounds great. Money ain't shit compared to being alive. So. And confirm. <laughs> There's flying fly babies out there, man. Mm-hmm. Awesome. It automatically took the gold. That's so cool. Oh wait. I yes. meant I meant to sell this your bloodstone, right? We don't need this bloodstone. It's just it's just a a gem, right? There we go. Yeah, there's also this energy mutagen. When created, this mutagen is attuned to one of four energy types. I'm not sure what it is attuned to, but we could probably find out. When consumed, it suffuses with your body and you gain resistance five. And whenever you, to whatever the energy type is, and whenever you score a hit with a melee weapon, you add one damage of the attuned type in the last minute. That's crazy. Might be worth... Who's selling what, that? What? The farmer's guild. I'm gonna ask the the person at the farmer's guild what uh, energy types are the mutagens. The uh, yeah, ones. sure. So this is somewhere you guys haven't been before. Um, so you see a, a short uh, halfling. Uh, she's got like a yellow jacket on and like green sleeves, and she's got like a flower like crown that she wears. Hey, what's up? I want to know what this does. Ah. Oh. oh, hello there. Um, uh, yes, we've got, I think we've got one of each energy. Uh, was there one you were looking for in particular? I can try to make some by next week. Oh, um, let's see here, uh. Wow, antidote lasts for six hours. Fuck yeah. They got acid, cold, electricity, or fire. They're four gold each, and she'll make us more. Hmm. If we want. What kind of damage do we think the Drake does? Maybe I should have, like... Acid. We think it does acid? Alright. Well, if we're gonna try to kill that Drake, then we should probably... But we already stole its treasure, right? And this ain't an XP-based well, game, and there's no actual monster drops, because Anne Gregerson hasn't even finished her Kickstarter yet for uh, Monster Loot Pathfinder Edition. It's happening right now, though. Hashtag not sponsored. Well, I expect to encounter all of these energy types in the dungeon. So, they're four gold each. We've got 148 gold. Why don't we just ask her for four of each type? And that way we'll be prepared. Here, I'll just throw. A, that'll be. I'll just throw a link into chat real quick. You know, just in case anybody wants to check out that wonderful project that's going on over there. How how does uh how does damage resistance work with crash and verso like cam and verso? Uh, that is a good question. <laughs> I believe it would only apply to one of them. Yeah. So basically, it's two of those runes or none for cam. So we would actually need five of each type to actually protect all of us. Well, that's a hundred gold. That's that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> I think. Well, I think we. I don't really want to put myself in a position where I need the resistance, so maybe we just get three of each. We just need it for whoever's tanking up front, but. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe just two of each then? That would be. A 32 gold for two of each. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that works. Okay. I do All like right. having four of each for like what if we have to get through like a trap or something we haven't been able to disarm that's um, so expensive so let's though let's not go running it is so it, it is so yeah. expensive okay yeah two, two of each for now uh, i also want to point out that you gain weakness five to the other three energy types 
Whoa, what? Yeah. Did, did you read the whole oh. bottle? Like it says... I, <laughs> I, I, I didn't read nothing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but ideally you only drink it in a situation where it only lasts a minute. Uh-huh. I mean, okay. two beach is 32 gold and five resistance is pretty good. Mm. Yeah, the drawback is written in very fine print on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which shop is this? Uh, this is the Farmer's Guild. Guild uh, it, which farmer's is, Guild. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Okay. It also says if Maybe you're a male human be... over the age of 43, you should uh, talk to your doctor before taking it. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I, I I could, you know what? Like, it's not a bad thing to carry, carry them right, around. But I, one I don't of know. Each. Yeah, let's do one of each, and then okay, we'll get one of. We'll just take the the the, the four you have. Oh, all right, then. Are you going into that dungeon or the lighthouse? Yeah. Are people talking about it? Yeah, there's been rumors going about. Some people think you're crazy. But apparently oh. you saved us from the undead, so thanks, I guess. Yeah. Um. I mean, someone's got to do it. Make sure you... If anyone sounds brave like they're going to wander in, caution them against it. It's it's real dangerous. There's a dragon in there. Oh, well, I'm sure I'll let people know not to follow you in. Awesome. Would, well, a, dr would uh, a dragon just attract people, though? But we already stole all its treasure. So it's a broke dragon. Mm. So no point going. Hope we don't run into what it. Because they're like, what if it What if it has our smell? And it smells that Bodine's the one that like put stuff in its mouth while it was sleeping. And then it also knows that Bodine's the one that like stole from it. And now it's like tracking Bodine. And like as soon as we like get anywhere near the lighthouse, it's going to come prowling out of the swamp. And it's just going to bring this breath weapon out. It's going to ambush us. It's going to be like, this is for what you did three weeks ago, you little assholes. Yeah, it could happen. Yeah. Um, I'm going to stand like the 15 feet away from Boudin from now on. <laughs> well, thanks for business. We'll see you uh, uh, next time we're in town. She'll give you like a very short bow. And then you'll see her tend to like some of the animals that are uh, staying at the farm area. Um, so yeah, Gregor, it's, it's... I think you should just take all of them. Uh, all of the potent for acid, coal, the energy mutagens. There's one uh, for cold, electricity, fire, and acid. Sure. Um, I will put them in my pack. I am uh, going to buy the uh, a potency crystal off of Rin. Um, I may restock each time we come to town, but I really like the uh, what they do. How do you? Uh, would affixing the consumable potency crystal have the same sort of like I have to be an expert crafter to affix it, or can I affix those myself in? I in believe like if you if you're trained, you can just affix the talisman. Oh, oh beautiful. Okay. Um, do you guys mind if I buy all four of these at sixteen gold, and they turn turn my weapon into a plus one striking weapon, which does a uh, bonus yeah, attack as roll? Long as and you don't mind, I buy this scroll of sea invisibility because you know. Did, did, is that the one that's you already bought, or are you buying another one? Oh, no, that's another one. Oh, jeez. Why don't you learn the invisibility? Well, I already know how to prepare it, but it's just so situational. It's Oh, yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. I don't mind having... I mean, that could have been super useful. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think even... Cam or... Maybe even you could cast this. Actually, I'm thinking uh, that Warhammer, since it's technically nothing now, I'm going to put that into the selling list. Uh, not that it's worth a ton or anything, but it gets it out of our stuff. Uh, and then with the Potency Crystal, is there a way that I can indicate that I've affixed it to a weapon? Uh, let me have a look. I don't know if I can just like drag and drop it onto them or got an effect so i think uh i 
Um, I don't know if there's a way to say that like it's attached to your weapon. Um, but I'm happy. I, I'd presume that you always have one attached until you use one. Okay. Uh, okay, and if I understand it, the activation is a free action? That's the hollow Pac-Man? Yes, correct. Okay, and it's not... I don't have to do it. Like, the trigger, it's my option to do it. So it's not like the first time I use my weapon, it automatically burns the, the thing. Yeah, I'm that's actually... correct. You get to choose when to do it, but you have to choose before you roll. Okay. So I'm going to put a potency crystal on my shield boss and one on my longsword. All right. Uh, I'm going to see if dragging it onto them works. It does not appear to actually do anything. Uh, what if I try you and just, drag the effect? Just, just change the name and then turn it off when you're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to see if they actually uh, found you. Because it has an actual draggable effect. Mm -hmm. So I'm seeing if I drag the effect onto something. Ah, select a weapon. Yeah, it should make the weapon a plus one striking weapon. And... Oh, would I still have... Hmm. Didn't seem to work. It's weird, because, yeah, when I drag it onto the weapons tab, it prompts me to choose which of the two weapons that are currently in there, and then when I chose, nothing happened. So you've got a buff at the moment that says... Oh! Crystal, and it says the weapon. Oh, okay, it puts it on me. Neat! Okay. And then I'm guessing when I expend it, it'll, it'll remove it off my sheet. Cool. Okay, really last thing that Gregor needs before he can peace out is uh, just my longsword still doesn't have ghost touch. I don't know if it just won't let you because there's not a plus one potency. Or... Yeah, I don't, I don't think it lets me. Uh, but just you, uh, I'll remember. I, I can just, I can't add the rune, but I believe I can just change the name. Oh yeah, like Crash was. Yeah, okay. Yep. Stone, are you back yet? Yep. Do you know how many of those attributes you need to switch over for your respec? Just two. Okay, so then that would mean we'd be in town for two weeks. Yeah, uh, I'm ready. We all have to be here for two yeah. weeks? Good. All right. Let's go back to the dungeon. Yeah. Uh, do uh, I need so to make everyone... a roll for, like, working or whatever? All right. Uh, roll me I... a diplomacy check. Then I'll tell you how much you earn. Mm. Uh, what kind of works can be done? Uh, depending on what you want to do, it would. If you're asking around town, you guys are pretty well known now, so finding a job shouldn't be too hard. I got a 28! Right, uh, that is just a critical success. Yeah! Uh, so for, for each day of work, you get 8 silver. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, so you get uh, 112 silver. Galaron is so broke. Uh, okay. 112, uh, 112, you said? 112 silver? Correct. All right. So I'll be t eleven I gold. I swear to God, if I ever get a party, the like, it's like, oh, we could just make money while working. We're gonna work for the next year. I'm gonna charge a rent and shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, my backstory says that I live with my sister. I, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm just. She's gonna start asking for some rent. <laughs> she asked for rent from this old guy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, Gregor and Bodine spent time retraining. Uh, Chamomile spent time working. Uh, Valen, you spent a day learning your spell. Uh, but what yeah. else were and you doing I, during that? I also spent a week uh, retraining my ability scores to get a 16 charisma. And, Did you only um, need to change one of your boosts? Yeah, or bio, that... I, reduced it, my, I reduced my cotton by plus one. And up my charisma by plus one. That's all I needed to do. All right, great. I'll do a week of priestly duties. Uh, sure. Roll me a religion check as you kind of take, uh, you start helping the library out. An eleven. Uh, so you, you're kind of a bit, uh. You're, you've kind of lost your like knack for like working at the library. Um, you do you do still get some money, but you can tell uh, that the owner of the library, uh, uh, Vandy, is like kind of disappointed in your work. Um, so you I think it's uh, more just like a difference of belief. 
know? Yeah, like, you keep having arguments about, like, what to suggest to people. Um, yeah, but... yeah, yeah, like, I, try, I go to preach to these people, and it's we just end up in theological debates about what's important in life. And... Oh. Uh, but yeah, you, you do earn 56 silver. Ugh. Oh, yeah, copper, sorry. Oh. Copper? <laughs> <laughs> That's an insult. I, I I take her copper and I throw it at her and I say, "Oh my god!" I don't do that. I don't do that. I take the copper. I take the copper. <laughs> the house so telling angry. You, Monday's bleed over. Monday's bleed over. Um, Gregor's gonna spend his week to, uh, do just like doing physical labor around the town, like helping however he can. Um, get back and so. <laughs> no, it's how I'm trying to get myself back into fighting shape. Uh, I'm sure. a very fit, spry guy. I um, plus you he in my you hear that the uh, where the lumber gets transported, that there's a half orc there who works, but he's been looking for uh, a bit of help. Uh, so you end up going up to the up there, and you like spending your time like cutting wood and like loading it onto this large like uh, flume that sends this wood off to Absalom. Um, nice. But roll me an athletics check as you're doing this job. I will, I will, and I'm gonna sing that whole uh, that that song. Um, yay, twenty-four. So yeah, he's he's pretty happy uh, with your work, and he'll like uh, nod. And uh, as as you're like leaving on the final day, he has like, spoken like a word this entire time. Uh, but as you like go to leave, he's like, "You're welcome to work here any time you want." And then he'll get back to doing his work. Uh, as you earn 35 silver. Yeah. Awesome. I'll put that in the party loot. Do do. So, right. what, what, do we stay three weeks then? Or is that what? Mm, two. Two, two weeks. weeks. Or just two. Okay, so my two is just for... Yes. Dungeon... All right, and you guys head back. Um, are you guys planning on heading straight back to the first, uh, the second floor, or what was the plan? We should go to the chair room. Start at the chair room. We, I found a door that is locked that we need to check before we go down to the third floor. And we have two different staircases right. to go down to the third floor. We've got not secret staircase and secret staircase. I spent two All weeks right. thinking about it. While also boosting bookstore prices to obscene levels. So. <laughs> Take us where we need to go, Cam. Yes, it is yeah. this way. Wait, hold on. My babies. Hold on. Gotta bundle all my babies up. Oh, or else you should be careful because you don't know who's back in here. Oh, yeah, we don't uh, know. Uh, <laughs> you, guys, you guys said you were going to the other room, so I presumed you went down the other entrance. That, that was okay. just where your tokens were when we Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Should we just let you teleport us over to the center room then, or? Uh, I can't, yeah. All right. Yeah, my... Oh, I I wandered. I'm I'm down it's here. Good. Um, <laughs> have you seen everything on the way there? Uh, you have. Yeah, I. Yeah, Gregor's just gonna. I'm unless you move me, I'm just standing at the door that Cam wants us to open. Yeah, no, I'm I'm in. Okay. okay. So there is Safety. there is a mod that stops people from just teleporting through walls when you drag them across the map. I will try to remember what it is and send it to you. So, thank you. Yeah. Um, I'll also look that up. If you're not <laughs> I think you can just hold Alt. And yeah, but that's like hitting a button. Like what? some programmer. Oh, yeah, what? Some programmer totally worked really mod, hard just... so that we wouldn't have to. Also, my babies are the wall. We're we're just full of yeah. problems right now. Okay. <laughs> I think that's everyone safe and not in the middle of a wall. Okay. Someone's, uh, someone's right, targeting me and it makes me feel unsafe. And I can't move. I'm I guess stuck. I gotta refresh my foundry. I don't know how to get to that room from where we are. Uh, oh, we gotta squeeze. No, you don't gotta, gotta squeeze. squeeze. I totally just, gotta squeeze. My, my foundry just died. Oh, you mean go the swim route? No, you don't have to swim. There's a secret door. Yeah, you... Oh, oh, that's right. 
Can we get it to to it from this side? That room. There's 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 not a secret door here. There's you not. See. Oh. I mean, I walked through right. it earlier, but apparently you're just walking through walls uh, willy nilly nowadays. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, can I okay, look? Craig can I look take... at 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 Verso the map and be like that? We could just smash this wall to get there. We oh don't have God. a sledgehammer. I bought a crowbar. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, you, you do feel like Ashley. If you if you wanted to spend some time like smashing this down, I've been so I've been so bored for like two weeks. You have no idea. <laughs> so we're just breaking the wall. Is that what yeah. we're doing? It's right here. Just smash this wall. All right. Uh, damn, I should have kept that warhammer. Actually, I don't think we sold it, did we? I don't uh, know. If you put it in the selling list, I would have very quickly sold it. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you did. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. All right. Uh, well, what do we have to bash things with, guys? Everyone check your inventory. Here. I have a crowbar. I, I call this a rock. You want me to break a wall down mm -hmm. using a rock? Yeah, man. Okay, I get that you're, like, small and have this, like, you know, obviously you look up to, to us, us big folk uh -huh. and how strong we are, but, like, so I'm not going to... Are you just trying to cover for it. the fact that you don't have a good assort? Can't you just shift your weapon into being a uh, hammer or whatever? Uh, no, I'm not. I, I don't have shifty anymore. I have ghost touch. Oh my god! We'll just hit it with the crowbar. I will see if I can find any seams in this here wall that I can use the crowbar on. Uh, so as you're kind of, as uh, most of the like the walls in this uh, so far you've explored have been like stone, uh, mm -hmm. but this one appears to just be like a small like wooden wall. Um, so you feel like with enough time of just battering it down, you might be able to break it. All right, all right. I am going to mightily. Uh, do, 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 do. Break it down. Uh, give me one moment, please. Good, good boy, Jeff. Uh, you hear, like, the, like, bending of metal as you slam your crowbar into this door. And, but the door does not seem to budge. Oh my gosh. Door or wall? Uh, wall, sorry. Alright, fine, we'll walk all the way around. <laughs> hey, you can try and break it down. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty imp it's pretty easy. Objects have hit points. Verso, just attack that wall. All right, Verso's going to attack the wall 100 times. I'll start rolling. I mean, yeah. As you as you start damaging the wall, eventually uh, Verso uh, will tear through it. I've done it, master. Oh, <laughs> you don't need to say master. That's fine. Uh, all right. Good job, Verso. Mm -hmm. All right, see what I mean? Look at that staircase. And around the corner, locked door. The locked door that's been haunting my dreams for two weeks. Uh oh. Okay, uh, if it's locked, I'm going to stand yeah, aside. Open. Oh, this locked door. There's a door over here. Oh. Yeah. So I'm going to let Boudin take that. Um, I don't... I'm going to... As Boudin goes to pick the lock, I will cast Guidance on him. Giving him a plus one. Service. Well, I'm going to try these keys I have on me. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wait uh, to cast Guidance. Uh, speak, speaking of which, in the player's uh, like tab, I added a keychain uh, like item thing. Uh, so if you guys okay. just want to have that uh, there, so I can easily see if you guys have the required key. However, uh, as you go through... Or all the keys uh, to this room, like trying one after the other, uh, none of them seem to fit. All right, I cast guidance on him as I see him pull out his thieves' tools. Right. Odin over here. So we will do a little thievery. I like Cam, who's very eager to see what's behind this door, also has the foresight to hide around the corner, lest there be a big boom. <laughs> Good dungeoning. 
uh, with a 16, you're not really making any progress. I am you haven't damaged the picks. I'm going to use my hero point. Nice. Oh! And with a critical success, you hear a very satisfying click as the door will open. Nice, nice. So the walls of this uh, eight-sided chamber are adorned with swirling runes carved into the stone and then filled with dull, silvery metal. Uh, the floor is polished smooth, as is the ceiling ten feet above. You notice that Bodine's actually walking around, looks like a, a dapper gentleman with his uh, <laughs> leather coat, long coat and silver cane. <laughs> you finally made it. You're the big leagues now. Head in. Oh. Are there any uh, traps around here? <laughs> um, um, I'm going to cast Read Aura. Wow, what's in there? How bad is it? Was it? Oh. Um. Uh, you don't actually detect any magical auras emanating from this room. Interesting. Yeah, I'd say that aloud. Um, uh, if anyone hasn't already, um, I realized I didn't even give myself a long rest when we were two weeks into the town. So if anyone oh, else has forgotten, oh, that's maybe, a good maybe idea. Maybe double check that. How do you do that again? <laughs> the bed underneath the bed. The All right, rest for the night. Yeah, rest all for right, the night. Uh... I'll work my way through all my guys. Hold on. <laughs> Study through the, these runes and see if I uh, recognize anything divine or related to nature. Sure. Uh, you can't make heads or tails. Of I will re-roll it with the hero point. Uh, yeah, so so you're like kind of thinking you you can feel like it slip away, but then you remember uh, you actually saw something similar to this on the first floor. Mm. Um, you saw a strange rune carved into the ground, although that rune had all the uh, kind of metal uh, plating kind of picked out of it, seemingly by looters. Uh, you remember recognizing that, or Camomile recognizing that as some kind of teleportation circle. Um, you think this one could be reactivated if the right ritual was cast. Guys, it's waypoints from each floor. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, oh. um, let's close up the door and relock it so that nobody goes in and like uh, steals all the metal and stuff from that one. <laughs> I just had this image of Bodine like bending down to start shooting. <laughs> like, oh, do, uh, do these right. stairs also go in, go down or mm -hmm. do they go up? They go down. Um. Personally, I'd like to go into the st stairs behind the hidden door first. Well, the last time we took hidden stairs, it took us to chair room, so sure, let's try that again. Yeah, yeah, that brought us to a safe space. But that means we have to go all the way around again. It's okay. <sighs> it's just a little bit of walking. Or water. Just a little bit of walking. Right. Well... You can actually go the waterway because you could squeeze easy that no, way. No, everybody you know, can fit, bro. Uh, We're past the squeezing part. I, I'm i more worried about the Drake. You're chubby, yeah, but you so ain't that cool. chubby, you know what I mean? It's just right through here. Nothing bad's going to happen to us. Here we go. Oh, no, no. one moment. <laughs> la, la, la. Oh, no. I'm so far away. Uh, Gregor. <laughs> no. Uh, you, you hear... Uh, the familiar fluttering of wings as you see uh, this creature fly out from behind you. Oh. Oh. Wait, everyone, to roll initiative. We're like on the complete other sides of the dungeon, you guys. Oh my god. Um. Oh dear. Okay. Well, you know. I it, it could be worse. Uh, Boudin and I could be fighting the dragon by ourselves while you're getting assassinated by your arch nemesis. That would be really bad. Oh well.
Um, just out of curiosity, over the last two weeks, could, could, <laughs> could I th throw down like a, a demon lore check to see if this thing's demonic? Because I would have thought, uh, thought of that. I, I would say, Joe, yeah, ro roll me a religion check, please. And I actually have demon lore as a skill. Uh, then roll demon. Yeah. Oops, that's not... Where do I click the... Oh, actually, uh, roll a uh, bit of a spoiler. Or roll a religion check. Okay. Uh, close religion. Uh, so you know this isn't actually a demon, but a devil. Um, oh. but it, so they are a bit more lawful than the creatures you're used to fighting, but nonetheless evil. Um, you know this is a zebub, uh, which they serve as messengers and spies. Um, okay. You know, you know that they have the ability to cast invisibility and dimension. I will roar in rage upon seeing it again as loudly as I could. All right, Bodine, you hear this loud roar echoing out from uh, the north. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No problem. You just use your tabaxi speed. Oh, you know what? I was I was totally thinking too. I was gonna be like, we should go check to see if that thing's back, so we could go murderize it if it is. And I didn't even think about it this time. Or like, I was thinking that when we were heading back from the town. Damn it! I keep selecting your fly <laughs> instead of me. Well, Jeff Jeff likes to hang out with with people and. He just likes to be close. Alright, now there's that, now I can move my three. Alright, that's my action. Alright, you will see this creature go to bite out towards Gregor once more. No, Gregor, you'll see this creature go to bite towards <laughs> I can see it. Oh, it's private. Oh, I will roll that. It should not be private. Oof! Uh, it will miss you as you've like got your shield up and it's not able to get through your full plate. Oh! Well, actually, I should probably, I should probably make sure my shield is listed as up. But oh, thank God! And it's just you. you this time you're ready. You've got your shield up and it's like flying into it, trying to get towards you, but with no success. Uh, Gregor, you're up. All right. Well, I didn't expect to have to do this so quickly. Uh, actually, I'm going to start first by trying to demoralize it. Mm. That will work for me at least once this campaign. Uh, so I am going to uh, uh, scream at it that this time I'm ready for you. Uh, it appears... Um, hold on it appears to not be able to understand you so the dc is a bit higher but oh. you you still see it kind of back off a bit realizing you're a mightier foe than it once thought nice as you just succeed frightening it oh thank god okay then i am going to uh oh okay sorry this is the first time i'm doing this so this is new uh ever hard or is it ever hard stance Oh, I forgot. Did I forget to change that on my character? Sheet? Oh, for crying out loud! Um, I forgot to take the. It's it's fine. You can change it. <laughs> I, I know what feat you wanted to take. You told me about it beforehand. So yeah, like, um... I just don't know how to get. Okay, hold on. If I take the confidence domain out, uh, speech compendium, ever. So I believe it's ever stand stance. Oh right, 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 right. Uh, it'd be under feats, right? Yeah, okay, feats. Yep. I, I can add it in quickly if you want me to. Uh, Sorry. if you, if you're already on it, yeah, I'm trying to yeah, navigate so them. You want to get rid of uh, Deity's Domain, correct? Uh, yeah, the class feat. Yep, so, move that. And then and I don't know what... And... Done. There we go, yeah. Okay. And then so I actually your... deleted a bonus feat, but okay. So then raise your in... shields with both hands. Yeah, in your actions there should be the stance now, and then you can drag the ability onto yourself as well. 
and there it is. Okay, so so that is an action to use that, right? Correct. Getting into a stance is an action, and you can only do it in combat. Okay. And uh, oh, weird. So I click in it. I'm clicking it on my action thing, but it's not actually doing that. So it popped up on in the chat, and then I can. You should be able to drag the stance onto yourself. Ah. Uh. There we go, okay. And then I'm curious to see if this will automatically increase the damage of the shield, but we'll find out. Okay. And I couldn't drag that to... Oh, there we go, okay. Okay, sorry. Sorry, guys, sorry, guys. Okay, so I'm going to try and bash this guy with the shield. Uh, I am going to activate the rune. Okay. Uh, let's see if... Oh, okay, my shield would have been drawn already, sorry. Yeah, no, that's fine. Target him. And oh, okay, so I there's nothing prompting me to use the potency rune. I think if you have because you've got the buff on you, if you go yeah. to roll the damage, it'll apply it. But we'll see. Okay. Oh, All that nice. sixteen will miss. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I'm gonna hear. I'm gonna hero point that one. I will also say, from recovering, from saving uh, the people who were kept prisoners here, you all would have gotten a hero point. Oh, even better. Okay. Uh, so add a second hero point. Okay. Well, I'm gonna use one hero point for this miss because I don't. Uh, yeah. uh, oh, misses well set. All right. That's my turn. Sorry, guys, for the time there. So you, you you got into your stance and then you attacked. I think you still have one action left, right? Uh, no, I demoralized. You demoralized. You're right. Uh, Fallon, you're up. All right. Um, I'm going to stride to here. Actually, to here. Um. Gregor hasn't taken any damage. Let me see if they need to speak the same language as me for this. Hmm. Oh my god. Are you looking at command? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it has the linguistic trait. So if the target, uh, a linguistic effect that targets a creature only works if the target understands the language you are using. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Oh, it's pretty far away. I don't want to use any of this stuff yet. It's probably just going to run anyways. I guess those are both 30 feet. I guess I'll do a recall knowledge on it. Alright, roll me your religion check. Twenty-eight. Uh, with it, twenty-eight. You you also know this is uh, Zabub. Um, uh, you do know that they're occasionally hired by people on the material plane, um, but it is somewhat rare uh, to do so. Uh, you know they'll typically try to target one person and damage that person before they attempt to flee after they've been reduced to a certain amount of health. Um, a little bit of meta knowledge I'll give you as well, just as a thing. So the way if you've ready an action uh, to strike when they cast the spell, um, if you critically hit when you're using your reaction, you disrupt the action that they're using. Oh, okay. Um, then I'll scream that out to Gregor, telling him that he can prevent it from fleeing, but he won't try to run until he's damaged. Um, that's also 30 feet. Yeah, so I'll just use my last action to stride to here. Alright, Camille, you're up. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um... I would assume that when traveling through the water, Chamomile would probably be on Verso's back. 
and then Greg would be flying, and Pork would probably be on Cam's back, essentially, like a little, little stack. So, how much further, how much movement would it take to get to land? So, if if you don't have a swim speed, mm. you can spend uh, an action to move ten feet. Yikes. Okay. Or you uh, can spend an action to get to shore. Okay. So, what we'll do is we'll do a move together just to get everybody to shore. Okay. And then I'm going to spend an action to activate um, the evolution feat to make uh, Verso's speed go up by 20, which is under spells. Here we go. Evolution surge. And um, that would be it. That's my turn. All right, Bodine, you're up. Oh, you there, Nope. Okay. All right. I guess we're going to run and stride once. Let's try it again. Yeah, I get extra speed with this last... Uh, Level up. <laughs> and as we were coming up, we are going to throw a dagger at uh, this guy. Alright, target him and give me that attack. Dark Uh, 19 would just hit because you can see the creature is frightened by Gregor. After 30 damage, as you like slashed off a bit of its wing. That's my three actions. Alright, infuriated by the fact that this mere mortal is attempting to scare it and fight against it, it will continue trying to fight into Gregor. It's... yeah. Oh? Yeah, uh, that will just hit you. Oh... Uh, dealing 14 damage. Dude hits hard. I'm going to block that. Oh, I, I can't block it because I didn't raise my shield. Correct. Do you have a react? Yeah, Don't you have a reaction that lets you raise your shield so you could up your armor class higher so you don't get killed by that, or is your shield already raised? No, no, no. So. Uh, I have to use an action to raise the shield, which increases AC, and it has. Mm. I have to have done that to use my reaction to block with my shield. I yeah. see. So there is it. There is a feat called reactive shield, uh -huh. uh, but Gregor does not have that feat. Uh, Level eight. Okay, got it. Yeah. Uh, but speaking of Gregor, you're up. Okay. So uh, my potency rune that I used on my shield boss is gone now, right? Even though I missed. Correct. Okay. So let me get rid of that. Okay. Um, so then I will. Uh, I'll try and demoralize him again. Uh, so after you've demoralized some, something, you can't again. Oh, okay. Now then I'm just going to strike him. Uh, so. What do I have him targeted? I do. 
a 15 will not be enough as this creature like nimbly flies above your sword as you oh against your shield as you try to slam into it uh, try again uh, that'll hit all right and it does yeah the stance works yep so nine damage so you like pin this thing up against to like the corner of the wall as it's flying all right Hey guys, we have a whole round to try and take it down. Uh, oh, I have one more action. Oh, this is a complete Hail Mary. But I don't... Oh, nope, nope, I'm raising my shield. Okay. Alright, Alan, you're up. Alright, um... I... I'm going to ready my action to shoot it with a crossbow if I see it cast a spell. Alright. Sounds like a plan. So that'll be two of your actions. You still have one left if you wanted to oh. reposition. No, I'll guidance myself because I'm not the best with the crossbow. Alright. Then we'll jump over to Hemimile. Okay. So what we're going to do over here is uh, Verso is going to take off on his own with his 45 foot speed. So let's see. Can he get there? Nope. There'll be a wall in the way. All right. Hold on. Wimp. 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 Okay. And then he'll move again, which would get him to there. And then finally he would move a third time. Which would get him into the business, as it were. Uh, he'd have enough movement, actually, to be um, right up on it. Yep. Alright. Cool. There's no way he could get into this room, right? Is this, uh, this creature's blocking the door? Uh, which door are you talking about? the door to the right of the creature is he able to go inside it oh well, yeah i'm asking if verso could go in that door oh uh verso could attempt an acrobatics check to try to get past would that be uh, part of the movement he's already taken or would uh, it... part of the movement but uh the creature's square would be difficult terrain but i still think that leaves you with enough movement. all right sure what does he got to do C can he shoulder check him out of the way uh, it'll still be an acrobatics check, but yeah, you can you can attempt to like just push uh, this creature out of the way. Okay. Is there such an action for just uh, as no, not as part of your movement though? Okay, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, okay. so you can what? shove as an athletics check. Okay. Well, anyways, here's the. Uh, Seventeen is not enough as this okay. creature just like buzzes in Versa's face. All right, that that is my turn. I acted together on the third movement to move further in. Yep. Okay. All right, uh, Bodine, you're up. All right. Move up. Can you make it here for the flanks? Yep, and we're actually going to uh, acrobatics our way through it. And roll me the acrobatics check. Eighteen. Uh, Eighteen is just enough. Uh, so you also gain panache as you just see Bodine like uh, effortlessly like sidestep this creature. And then we'll use our sword cane. Yeah. Are you using a finisher or are you just doing a normal attack? Might what as well do a finisher, right? Because did you do two actions already? No, that's actually just one. It's part of movement. Oh, you should demoralize first, then, yeah? Yeah, well. Uh, 14 will miss, but because it's a finisher, you still do uh, half the finisher damage. It is 1030 if you just want to use your action point. Oh, well. Okay. Well, I used my action point earlier. Oh, okay. For the locking, or the, to open that door. Uh, you got another one since then, though, because I gave everyone oh, one for rescuing okay. the... 
uh, people who are trapped. So if you want to reroll that 14, you can. Uh, that will still miss, but you still do uh, five damage to the creature because you do half the precise damage. Right, we'll use our last action to raise our uh, sword. Our uh, dude, Harry. All right. Uh... Uh, the creature will look around and it will try to take a bite out of uh, Gregor and then you'll see it begin to cast Muttering a Spell afterwards. Alright, here we go. So your shot goes off, Fallon. Uh, 23 will hit, uh, but it does not disrupt the uh uh, casting, oh, it needs but it to does be a do crit, damage. Right? It needs to be a crit to I'll disrupt. re-roll it using a hero point. Alright, go for it. We're fishing. Uh, still just a hit, uh, but oh, roll damage for Maybe I'll kill it. For seven damage. And you see it finishing, you see like a moment of panic appear on its face as it, it finishes uh, casting the spell, but it's not a portal that appears behind it. It simply vanishes. Mm. Uh, so, Gregor, you're up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to assume it's still here. So I'm going to strike at that spot. All right. As you go to swing uh, your shield, uh, just roll me a flat d20. All right, and roll your attack roll. Can I keep the same roll? <laughs> that has to be a separate roll. Oh, uh, I'm gonna use a hero point. Alright. I will get the same roll. Ha! Uh, that's a hit. <laughs> Alright. Uh, it's uh, one away from a crit. Oh, shit. Uh, not the best damage, but. And oh. with that, you, you like pin this invisible force like into the wall. And then you just see it slowly, like, appear, and it's just this dead body slumped over your shield. Oh, dang. <laughs> well, I'll do the only thing that I know how. I will search the body. Uh, as, as you're looking over the body, um, you're not really sure where something like this would kind of have like items, but it doesn't seem to have anything on it. All right. Uh, how long does it take to affix a rune onto something? I believe it is a while. I believe it's a day. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, oh, do you, mean a tal do you mean a talisman or a... Like the consumable runes, uh, the potency crystals that... Yeah, so oh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a talisman. So that's different. Um, oh, okay. Uh, Ten minutes. 10 minutes okay for some reason the one on my longsword says it's expired so i think it's because when you apply it it's it's presuming you mean for the next attack mm. so it only lasts around oh okay so i'm going to okay hold on a second here okay, i'm gonna take that off check my inventory i should only have one less uh potency crystal Three left. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the effect on the potency crystal in my hot bar to activate when I'm about to use it. And uh, sorry, and to affix those ones is only around. You said ten minutes. Oh, ten minutes. Okay. Well, the next time we have ten minutes, I'll uh, I'll worry about putting it on back on my shield. But uh, okay, I'm good to go. Sorry, guys, that thing just came out of nowhere. I guess it didn't actually leave like I assumed it did it was waiting for us well I'm glad that you have closure uh, um. is everyone okay 
So, there's something we need to consider. These creatures are normally hired as, like, messengers. And when it teleported away two weeks ago, it probably alerted um, its boss of our prison. Okay, and perhaps then, we, and then we left for two weeks, yeah. Yeah, perhaps our absence you know, would lull it was back the into the logic it. that I used two weeks ago. And you're... Mm. What do you mean? <laughs> that was the logic you used two weeks for ago. For the well, for the well. Nope, you know what? It's fun. <laughs> um, Gregor, sit down. Okay, My I'm concern gonna, oh. was that whatever was at the bottom of the well would climb out of the well. It wasn't about whether or not we left. It was about being able to leave it all. No, it's fine. It's fine. Gre Gre Gregor's like kind of motion cam like, please don't anger the surgeon while they're conducting surgery what upon if, me. What if you drop you know, that light up coin uh, in the well and then it hit a little girl in the head. And the little girl had long black hair and pale skin, and the hair was hanging over her face. And then she started climbing out of the well. And then you would only have seven days to live. Have you thought about that? That's a thing that happens with wells. You held twenty-two. Let's move on. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bell. Uh. Let's go to the stairs. Now that there doesn't seem to be anything else up here that could harm us. That we know of. <laughs> that we know of. Mm. Oh, is Jeff following me again? Aw, oh, Jeff. Oh, yeah, you gotta push on the brick. And then we will descend deeper. I'm just taking a moment to set something up. Yeah. Just let me make sure you're going to the right spot on the next map as you descend these stairs. Did the map load in? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why isn't the music playing? That's strange. Uh, but yeah, you essentially head down this lo long uh, stairway. Uh, you see this hallway. Uh, you can see there's another stairway on the opposite side. And just down along, you see splintered rotten wood lies scattered around this hall. This looks like uh, a wall, but I can see through it. Uh, it appears to be a door that's been smashed open. Oh, damn. Um, but down here, you just see this room that appears to just be full of this thick uh, white mist. Oh, hell no. Hell no. That's a raven. Oh, wait, wrong. Wrong game. No, I don't fuck with white mist anymore. Yeah, yeah. What the heck? Cra Cam, what are you doing? Why? Right, hold on. You, mo you moved in for a moment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Verso moved in first. Uh, Verso did move in first, you're correct. Sorry, Verso. <laughs> his hit, uh, point, his hit points see, are my hit points, but he has armor class. You see this, like, large eyeball begin to open in the mist, and you see these strange, like, purple tentacles begin to, like, swirl around it as you see this. Well, that's pretty... Oh, shit. That's pretty cute. It's a penis with tentacles. And I'll get everyone to roll initiative. Let's fucking go. Del Crash, <laughs> what was the name of, uh, in, uh, the first Cave of Chaos? Poor guy. <laughs> a Garfield, Poor yeah. Reason it's the ghost of Garfield. Garfield. Closure. 
Oh, man. Uh, all right. Who's the one that fed him the the thing or gave him the thing? It was you. <laughs> was it me? I was pretty sure it was you. Yeah. I don't think it was me. It was you. Was or your, it, it was you or your brother. Oh. Yeah. Garfield. He, he deserved better. <laughs> Uh, is anyone else able to hear the music, or is it just? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, 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 oh yeah, I hear the music. Okay. At least it's I a at like... least it's a respectable medium size instead of you know. <laughs> is are are there any visibility issues here, or did the mist like coalesce into this uh, octopus? Uh, it is rather hard to see this creature as it's obscured by the mist, but you can mm. just make it out. Got it. Um, but Gregor, you're first to act. Okay. Do we um, do we know when this creature's gonna act? Well, I don't see it in the initiative. Oh yes. Oh, oh shit balls. Okay. Somehow Gregor's feet came in handy twice this session. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. That's awesome. You know, I watched this video where this person who was reviewing them said it was the most worthless feat, and uh... So you had to take it yeah. at that point, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's default for the, uh, for the background I have. Okay, so, um, this hasn't really come up before. How does diagonal movement work? Uh, it's, uh, it's first diagonal is five feet, then it's ten feet. I forget the name of it. Euclidean. Okay. It's Euclidean. Because I can move 15 feet to get to here with a stride. Jeff mm -hmm. is attached to me still. <laughs> My bad. Uh, it just loves you so <laughs> no much. No worries. <laughs> and then, so the first one would be free. We should mm -hmm. go to here. But then I wouldn't be able to go here. I'd have to go here. Mm. Okay, so I can't flat foot it right away, but I can get started. Okay. Um, so I will stride. I will draw my long sword uh which is a ghost touch long sword Ooh. and i yeah and i will try to strike it with my ghost touch long sword oh man i hope that's you the, I, I hope that hits that's a big I net money that's too. that's a, that's a crit yeah as you my apologies for not targeting it. it's okay oh and um, because my longsword is my um, divine ally, uh, whatever critical effect is supposed to also take effect. I don't right, know. Right. So, so as you, uh, yeah, with the longsword, as you slash into this creature, um, doing some damage, uh, it also becomes flat-footed after you hit it. Correct? Oh. <laughs> yeah. The only way that could have been better is if I used my strike rune, but I didn't. Okay. So that's my turn. Hype. All right, it will now be now the creature's turn. Die. As you see it, like look, uh, you see its eye like turn to look towards uh, Gregor, and it will like blink, and you will see the kind of mist in the room like start to like solidify around Gregor. As I need you to roll a reflex save. Oh. Oh no, I'm not good at those. But I do have ball work, which I think automatically uh, this applies. This is uh, this is not a damaging effect, but you will not get ball work. Oh okay. Hey, so I wonder if it knew that because ball work is automatically targeted uh, toggled off on this one. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, nice, that nice. Is just a success. <laughs> so you can see this like mist start to like solidify and like try to like trap you in the square you're in where you're able to like quickly just jump out of like that small area and you're not solidified uh in anger this creature will like whip out a tendril towards you oh shit oh no oh shit uh, critical oh, hitting my. for oh shit uh, 28 points of damage i 20? I, I oh, will no. I will block this one. Um, Goodbye, shield. We gotta just buy a I lot mean, of shields for you, man. Yep, yeah, yeah. yep. You gotta carry like eight shields, man. Oh wait, shit! That destroyed my shield. Yeah, twenty-eight damage. <laughs> if it, yeah. Yep, because your shield has twenty max hit points, so it is completely oh. destroyed, unable Good to thing be long swords right. Right, right. Wait, right, right, so right. how much damage did you take, though? I, so, okay, 
Yeah, I took the so... same damage as the shield did. Oh. Yeah, yeah shield, and that's what I forgot. Sports, it blocks for its hardness, and then both the shield and... Oh, so the you only so you only damage. reduced damage by five, but you still lost your shield. Yeah, I have two... Yes. I, I have two more steel shields. <laughs> nice. Oh, <okay. laughs> and, and and the shield boss is not destroyed with the shield. I can recover it and craft it onto yeah. another one. So Correct. so so video gamey. Don't worry, guys. No. I got three more shields. Yeah. Um, no, but uh, it's tender will wrap around your neck as you are now grabbed by it. Oh damn! Oh 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 oh! I have a question. Is this the whole like if this creature hits, it may spend another Pac-Man to initiate a grab ability? Correct. Nice. Okay. So I thought... this has this creature has the grab trait. I thought that means oh, after so that's a new resource for that. I like that. Yeah, I it's like such it a cool, a such a cool design. Um, but with that, Valen, you're up. All right. Um. Oof. Well, that changes my plan. Um. I will spend an action to recall knowledge. Uh, sure. Roll me either an Arcana or Nature. A 12. Uh, you're not sure what the screech uh, is. I have no idea what it is. I think its name is Garfield. <laughs> um, and then I will cast a two action heal on Gregor. Hey, oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see Gregor. All right. Yep. Oh, I need a target. Living healing for twenty two. Nice. And that's it. Wow. I was staggered, and then this like wave of energy hit me, and I feel fine. Yep, a creature critted you, and then your ally healed you for like all the damage. <laughs> um. Oh, oh yeah, but Bodine, you're up. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are going to strike. All right, give me that attack roll as you stab out towards this large eye. Well, actually, first we're going to try to insult it. <laughs> All right, give me an intimidate check. Somebody order the calamari. <laughs> uh, a 17 is not enough as it just blinks at you and you can see one of the tendrils start to like point towards you while another is grappled around Gregor. Alright, so we'll just straight get it normally. Uh, because it's flat footed from Gregor's crit, that's a critical hit as you stab out towards it. Awesome. Fourteen damage. And that is the silver weapon, if that makes any difference. Uh, it doesn't seem to, but you feel like there's no weakness that you would need to overcome. You get all the damage. You see it like all its tendrils like cut, like wiggle in pain as you stab it in the eye. All right, so that's my three. All right, Camille, you're up. All right. Um. I have a question about size. If Verso was... He, he couldn't get large, right? Because there's not enough available spaces for him to embiggen into. Correct. Okay. So what we're going to do is... Verso is going to take a stride to here. And as Ver... Well, no, no! I'm sorry! Hold on. And then as Verso strides to there... Um, Jeff will fly into the room and get opposite... Of their love and then Jeff will have to make an attack to finish up Jeff's activation so Jeff will try and proboscis here we go against this flat-footed opponent oh Jeffrey um, I will spend my long rest uh, healing surge doodad hero point here we go 
There we go. 27? Uh, 27 will hit. Uh, one away from a crit. Boo. Boo. That means he, got, he needed a nat 20 for a crit. Boo. Seven points of damage. Okay. Okay. And you see Jeff just flying in the face of this creature, like trying to like stabbing it in its eye, and you can see some of like the white goo get sucked out. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Um, Verso is going to attack using slashing fibers. And I'll use my last hero point because I had an extra one. From the recap. Here we go. Jesus Christ, oh. Verso. Get your shit together. Alright, the Verso's gonna use our last action. He's gonna do fiery wings. I'm sure this will hit when the other two with plus ten didn't. Ah, uh, nope. Great turn, great turn. Uh, Alright, I'm done. Alright, Gregor, you're up. Um... Uh, you're currently grappled, uh, which means you are immobilized and you're flat-footed. Okay. I don't know what that means. Immobilized as in just my movement, or yeah, will speed. this affect my ability to fight? Yeah, so immobilized, you can't move. Um, so the way to get out of grapple is you can attempt an escape check. Uh, however, an escape check counts as an attack, so it contributes to your multiple attack penalty. All right. But if I am content being where I am, I can just wail on this thing? Correct. <laughs> Hello, you have the squeeze ability. I mean, you're fine. <laughs> do you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I am going to. Uh, well, I no longer have a shield. Period. So I am going to start off by uh, using this. Trying to activate the crystal on my long sword, and I'm going to strike out at this thing. I forgot to target it again, I'm so sorry. Uh, it's all good. A 13 misses help. That was totally a 16 on my screen. Damn these dice. Uh, okay. Uh, so then that will... that'll go away. And then I will try to strike it again. This time I will remember, however, to, uh... Target it. Uh... Nice. Wait, will hit. The nine points of damage. And then with my final action, it is a total, total hail mary. But you going for the third, third attack? <laughs> Yeah, you never know. With a negative one, but okay. It, it doesn't have a shield anymore. Oh, <laughs> that's true. All right, that's uh, that's my round. All right, it will be the creature's turn. You will see one of the tendrils uh, lash out towards Bodine. I mean, you know, when you have a third action, you could always do a uh, recall knowledge. Since we don't know shit for shit about these monsters. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm going to use my reaction um, on it. The, the Hold on a second. Where is it here? Not the weight of guilt, but the other one. A glimpse of redemption, I believe it's called. Yeah. Garfield can join us. Is... Uh, it, it appears this creature doesn't seem to be regretful or even aware <laughs> that what it's doing is wrong so it will continue to choke out bodine and become right. evil uh, d damage resistance five to bodine and enfeebled two to the mist stucker yep so you'll take four damage instead of nine bodine mm. however as it strikes into you it will spend an action um to grapple you You will then see it begin to squeeze both Bodine and Gregor, and I need you both to make a fortitude save. Oops, I made it the creature on the fortitude save. <laughs> Roll that fortitude save, please. <laughs> I, I was wondering why 
Yeah. A dice cave instead it, of the it button. Also but... squeezes yeah. itself. This ability. Oh my god! god. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Self auto erotic asphyxiation. All right, uh, it Bodine. Costs, it costs, you... it costs three Pac-Mans, but it's worth it. Uh, Bodine, you'll take nine damage. Uh, Gregor, you'll take eighteen damage. How's it? Yeah. How's it going in there, guys? Pretty good. It's pretty good in there. Why aren't they? Re hey, I think it cast a silence spell on them. They're not talking. Uh, it didn't spend an action to maintain the grapple on Gregor, so Gregor is released from its grasp. Oh wow, that's so good. I'm. I love Pathfinder. Uh, Valen, you're up. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Uh, chuck a little fireball, little not a fireball, uh, produce flame into. Uh, hey, that'd be a rough. That'd be a rough move. <laughs> fireball into that small ass room. I do have that necklace. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, speaking of, I should. I got this magic missile wand. Oh baby. Class of that twenty. Roll that damage. Level two cantrip. Um, and since I crit, it's on fire, which might not be good for Boudin, but... Uh, in fact, it doesn't even seem to matter, because mm. with 16 damage, you see all these tendrils just start to, like, flail in the air. You see its eye just, like, close, and it just slowly starts to simmer on the ground. And as you guys destroy this strange mist creature with this massive eye, that's where we'll end the session. Nice. Uh, this was not the same as the the the, the, the table room. Th these stairs did not go where where I'd hoped. Yeah, who who knows where we're at? Um, why do I have three dots on me? No, that's the creature that has. The oh, yeah. oh, the corpse. I see. All right. Well, um, that is that for another week of uh, Pathfinder Abomination Vaults. Um, real quick announcements. Tomorrow night, we're going to continue playing Cult of the Lamb on stream. If uh, anybody wants to join us, uh, we're building up our uh, demon worshipping cult, uh, collecting followers from chat, uh, literally eating shit, and all sorts of other fun things. Uh, so if that sounds like something you want to do tomorrow night, that's what we're going to be doing on Twitch. Um, Thursday, Curse of Strahd Nightfall continues. Uh, they have arrived at the town of Valakai. That's right. That's how we pronounce it by game. Fuck you guys. Um, and then in Friday, we got our VODcast. Saturday morning, Red Hand of Doom, Ghost Lord Dungeon. Pretty exciting. Uh, Saturday night, we're going to be playing some Celasta. Sunday morning, Curse of Strahd Daybreak. Sunday night... Uh, episode two of Heroes of the Nether Seas, uh, our new um, Sunday night game that is uh, replacing Mythic Odyssey because because we just kind of that, that game kind of fell apart. We just called it quits. 114 sessions. We just said fuck it. We're just not feeling it anymore. Uh, Monday night we got Odyssey Prime, uh, and then Tuesday we'll be back here. So, anybody else have announcements before we adjourn? Uh, I do uh, have I do have something okay. to point out uh, oh, quickly. Oh. Um, I, I was trying to get a game up and going for a second Abomination Vaults campaign. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I decided I was tired of waiting for just one campaign, and because in the long run I would run, a, run more than two. I'm very keen to do multiple runs mm -hmm. of Abomination Vaults. So if you look at if you find me on Start Playing, I have a b whole bunch of sessions scheduled, uh, all for the same time as this session, but different days. Mm. So if anyone in the audience wants to jump in, feel free to. Nice. All right. Anyone else got any announcements? And, yeah, and Wednesday, tomorrow night, my group will be finishing the beginner box. Send them prayers. It's going to be a TPK. Damn. Damn. I mean... I got bad feels. From what I know about that that, that group composition, I would say that's, that's pretty fair. So, <laughs> Alright, cool. On that happy, positive note, we're going to call it a wrap. Thank you for hanging out and chat, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the VOD. Everybody was watching that. And we'll see you next time.